Hey guys, welcome back to another Twitch VOD. This one is from the 9th of February, 2022. Heartbreaker Runs, Lovers in the Air Collectibles. Uh, we had a lot of fun today. Uh, I hope you enjoy watching the VOD as much as we enjoyed playing and talking and shenanigans. If you would like to catch me live, you can do so at twitch.tv forward slash Fiyama. Add slash schedule to that to see my current streaming uh, schedule, funnily enough, in your time zone. Otherwise, usually Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday at 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget to follow me on the Instagram, the Twitter, the TikTok, the Facebook, all the places. And jump into discord.gg forward slash Fiyama if you'd like to join us there too for all the off-stream chats and fun times. See you next time. There we go. I feel like I'm smaller than usual as well. There's something is mm, something is wrong. I mm, I did update a bunch of stuff today. I had to redo all of my like little tweaky setting things for my camera because like the white balance was off and the the exposure was silly and um yeah so I had to fix that. So I think everything else is for cucked as well. Um. smaller than usual. <laughs> that's a little, I think that's a bit too big. I think that's about where I wa was, maybe? The sun well. Thank you very much for the resub, Shiva. Much appreciate. Uh, what am I playing? Ooh, quests are completed. Um... This one. And... And this one. Uh, did you guys see that they're having double tokens? Starting on my birthday, which means it'll be the day after my birthday because American times. Uh, mages, because I need to get the legendary. Done. Um, there we go. Good. Good. All right, let's fuck this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> chair, chair. Oh, speaking of chair. Forget about that. Look, it's it's a new thing. I will forget frequently. Um, hello, Nutty. I hope you're enjoying your lurk exam. To find out my PC can handle me watching oh, three streams at once. Somewhere. It should be able to. Twitch does. Uh, Shadowfist, thank you so much for the sub, for the resub. Much appreciated. I hope you're having a lovely day, and we are three and a half minutes away from potentially, well, three and a half minutes left to trigger a hype train. So if anyone has got a resub sitting there, now's your time to push the button. Because uh, we get emotes out of it, and it's something that you hopefully would have done anyway. Um, uh, so Twitch doesn't actually render, you, your computer won't render video if it's not in focus. If, if it's playing, even it'll render the audio if it's in a background tab, but it won't actually render the video until you switch to the tab, which is why it kind of goes, uh, and then continues playing when you actually switch tabs. Um, if you have all of them like next to each other, then yes, that's probably very silly to do though, because I'm not sure you can actually pay attention to that many things at once, unless you have a phenomenal human brain, unlike me. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, your PC won't render shit it can't see, because um, it's not... As much as we sometimes hate our PCs, they're not actually as stupid as we like to claim that they are. Um, Mr. Marshmallow, while you're at it, I imagine your computer will run hot. No, Qualitron, no. Qualitron is being a petulant child lately. Ah, uh, close one stream. Is this two friends doing the same rage as like being supportive? Absolutely, but you you do still be, you still count as being supportive, even if they are in a background tab. Just keep that in mind. Um... So yeah, no, I, I totally feel that, and you can do it um, while having them in a, in a background tab. So don't stress too much about that. Wait, there are other streams. No, Zam, you're being lied to. Fear is the only stream. I'm kidding. Um, Qualitron is on strike. Qualitron is being a bitch. Did nothing am innocent. Brilliant. Good to hear. I am not. I, I've done all the, well, not all the things. I've done lots of the things. Um, 
It's like a sheep have locked and reported for sniping. Ah, uh, 360 no scope. Hello, Cinders. What up? I've got another tune. Ah, oh, 4050s. Well done. 4050s. Hello. Hello, Chaos. I am tired, but I'm good. How are you? I unmuted for, I unmuted for you. hello. <laughs> um, later. Woo! Indeed. Indeed. I did some calculations last night after stream and figured out what I actually have to do. Um, I just realized I haven't put my earrings in. Um, figured out what I actually have to do for, um, to complete my, my Lita stuff. Um, trying to decide if I fancy leveling anything up or just waiting until tonight to restore my Pally and transfer. Oh, I mean, you could do both. You could level stuff up and then, unless you've got a full account, if that's what, like, if you've got 59, uh, 49 characters. Um, <laughs> all of the panic, Shiba. So far, PC isn't struggling. Fantastic. Doubling tokens. Yeah, double tokens in, in Stream Raiders from the 11th to the 15th. So it'll be from the, the 12th to the 16th for us. Because it usually is. Excuse me. Let's get the heartbreak today. Yes, let's do that. Let's do that. Enjoying your day off. Wonderful news, Shadow. Oh, I'm so glad. Is fear tired? Oh, Lord, yes. Yes, correct. Uh, got the pre-start yesterday at 30 to level 50 today. Oh, well done, Koala. Well done. I am going to be following Jack's advice today and not going, like, straight down the list. I'm going to go with tunes that only have DPS specs first so that I don't, like, I don't, you know, at the end of the night doing a rogue and no one wants to queue with me because everyone's run out of tunes. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're going to go through the DPS tune, the pure DPS tunes first. Getting a late lunch at the moment, delicious. Uh, and I've I've fixed up Tomcat's tours. Um, I wish I could make it longer because this irritates the fuck out of me because it's scrolly, 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 and it doesn't have um, it doesn't do the thing that saved instances does with the like actual timing of stuff. So like it won't give me a timestamp of when it was done. So it's not it's not per that was that is the one thing. The one thing that I would add to to the Lovers in the Air module for Tomcat's tours is adding a even even if it doesn't add a um, an actual thing that clocks the time like automatically from the server, a bu like a button that when the queue pops, I could click the button and it would log the time that I attempted to enter the instant. Do you know? I think like that would be just something really really simple like that would work as well. But that's okay. I'm not a developer. I don't know how difficult that is to do. So let's. Get cracking! Also, no accidental dungeon cues this time because the button does the thing automatically. Uh, quick join is your way to join me. Ah, uh, shit! I just realised I need to put myself on a line. Let me. Boop. There you go. I'm now appearing online, so you can quick. Well, you should. Yeah, so you can quick join. Uh, DPSQ is fast at the moment. Uh, three minutes is not fast, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, three minutes times 50 tunes, that's a long time. Uh, even like a two minute queue is slow, correct. When you've got 50 characters, one minute of queue is slow. One minute across 50 tunes is almost an entire hour just sitting in queue. Not good enough. <laughs> Not good enough. Uh, that'd be nice. I love the queue button on it. That's the best part. Agreed. Agreed. Can still not see in quick join. Oh, that's odd. I'm definitely... In the queue, there's a quick join. Oh, just, oh, just Jack. <laughs> oh no. Uh, okay, so that's 419 horde. Had to reload. Oh, um, that's shit. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Next round, because there'll be another. Do not you worry. <laughs> Do not you worry. I was thinking of seeing how the EU plays. Uh, you think it's worth checking out, although I'm on it. And A, I'm prepared to start fresh to see that side of the house. Thoughts? Um, what What do you think? What do you mean um, how the EU plays? Do you mean like ping-wise? Do you mean like like in terms of what your, your ping would be? Or are you thinking that it's a slightly different game somehow? Because it's, it's not. But um... What your what? Watch your feet. What is that? Is that the new something something? Is that like GTFO n n new or so? I, that was interesting. <coughs> I 
Uh, there's gonna be a lot more people not speaking English. Just ping people, etc. Okay. Um, well, there are a lot of people who are here, um, who, who, like, in the community who are from the EU who play on North American realms, so it should be a similar ping in the reverse, um, if you were to talk to them to find that out. Um, but, I mean, there's nothing stopping you, I guess. You can get a free trial account and just kind of go from there. That's GTFO. What happened to the, like, the Avast antivirus fucking blaring alarm? That's just kind of like... <clears throat> That's interesting. Uh, environment community, fair, fair. NA ping in UK, not bad. Look, I mean, you've got nothing to lose, right? Um, just keeping in mind, of course, that if you do use a free trial account, uh, they are limited. Uh, in terms of what they can do. Um, and then if you do want to actually immerse yourself in the community properly to see what it's like over there, then you're going to have to pay for the account. Um, but I mean, I, I don't know what your financial situation is. You may have shitloads of money to throw around. Um, so, you know, in that case, go nuts, have fun. Uh, but yeah, that is, it's just something to keep in mind. Just something to keep in mind. Load faster. I'm so used to having all the add-ons turned off now. And having it be like a quick, super quick load. This is, this is upsetting. Hey. Alright. Cued. But yeah, I have a, I have a, a notepad doc full of Lita stuff that I still need. So, um, we'll see how we go when we get there. That's a fast queue. That's what I that's what I would call a fast queue. <laughs> Instant queues are better, but I mean I'm as a DPS, I'll fucking take it. Thank you so much to everyone who's like jumping in and queuing with me and shit. Like I know it's you know, it it makes for faster queues for everyone for the most part, but like I really appreciate you taking the time to jump into quick join and join the group so that I get a faster queue, even if your queue is gonna be instant. I really appreciate it. Mm, hello, fairy. <clears throat> so, you know how I did that that um, render that finished yesterday? It was like a twenty-hour render, and I was really, really happy about it. What's your feet? Fuck off! Uh, I jumped onto YouTube and went to upload it and the file was too large. So I had to go in and, and split it in two, into two parts and um, and attempt to re-render part one. And I did re-render part one overnight, but it failed uh, because it ran out of space. And then I tried re-rendering today and it said it was gonna take nine hours and I was gonna be streaming in six, so I had to cancel it. So I'm just really not having luck with this fucking marathon stream bullshit, but once I figure it out, once I get there, hopefully that means in future marathon streams will be easier to get up there on YouTube. Yeah, poor fear indeed. I just, I can't figure it out. And I'm s now I'm so far behind. That's the, that's the VOD from the 22nd of January. 22nd of January. 902. Nothing. So like at this point, the 8th of Jan, uh, the 8th of February VOD isn't going to be rendered until like the, f the 18th or something and that's if I manage to successfully render something every single night from now on so look it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine uh so are you doing other Lita things today I am I am doing other Lita things today uh like the achieves and toys and things I've got all the achievements and I've had them for several years so I'm not going to be doing any achievements but I am going to be crossing the category off in, well, I'm not, that's a lie. I'm going to be taking the necessary steps towards crossing off Lita as a category in uh, all the things, in ATT. Um, so what that means is, uh, what I'm gonna start with, I've got four things that, I, five, five things that I need to purchase um, for love tokens. There's the dinner, the, the dinner suits box, there's the lovely dresses box, those are 20 tokens each. There's a 100 token thing, there's a 100 and, 
50 token thing and there's a 270 token thing. Um, so I've chosen alts, uh, I've chosen characters to farm those on. Um, so I'm going to go through and do a round of dailies on each of those three. Uh, one one tune only needs to do one day of dailies. So the, the love tokens drop from the boss. Minimum of five, maximum of ten, right? So... If, they, if it dropped to the minimum of five every day for 14 days, because I don't want to take into account that 15th three hour long day, because given that it took us fucking four hours to do 50 runs, I'm terrified that I'm actually not going to get my last 50 runs in on that 15th day. I, I, I'm not sure we're going to make it. So I'm really, really nervous about that. Unless I've got like healers and tanks um, auto queuing me, like for every single one of the 50, like it's, I'm terrified. I'm genuinely really kind of scared. Um, so I'm not going to worry about that day because it's going to be tight as fuck as it is. So I'm just going to go with the 14 days. So that's a, that's 70, a minimum of 70 tokens. So, and you get 33 tokens for doing the dailies, uh, for doing all the dailies. Um, so that's one day of dailies for one character, three days of dailies for another character, and seven days of dailies for a third to get the biggest one. Uh, and I did one round on fear yesterday, so she's got six to go. Um... Oh, is my... I think my macros aren't... Oh no, that's working. Um... Yep, yeah, so I'm gonna go through and do a round of the dailies on each of them. Um... And then there are the, the Bouquet of Red Roses, which is a transmog that drops from a handful of dungeons. I don't have that. That's the only, like, uh, the last thing I don't have. So I'm going to go through and do those dungeons on as many tunes as I can and just hope, hope that it drops. And if it does drop early, then I have a place to farm the, uh, the tokens, like farm the tokens. So yeah, that, that's the plan for today. That's the plan for today. I hope that sounds like fun. Uh, things, why do I keep saying things? Because all the things, Yuri, that's why. Your brain has been conditioned. Your brain has been conditioned. Condition hunter. <clears throat> Might rewind, leave instance group to a macro. Ooh, yes. Yes, please. If you know what the slash command is for that, please let me know because I would absolutely do the same thing. Oh God, Jack, that'd be amazing. Because I know that slash logout is the logout button that you can make. Just did her stone core drop in the last box. Yay! Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, there are specific bosses within the dungeon that it can drop from. It's not just specific dungeons. It's actually specific bosses within the dungeons as well. Um, but AT, they have all that in there. So that's that's good and fine. Um, uh, but I do have a list. I made a list of them as well because I'm, I'm that bitch. I'm gonna check where people said there and Dunsies, yeah. It must just it must just be a supremely high drop rate. Like it must be. Don't forget to get your predictions in, guys. Um You only have a limited time to predict and you won't it won't be it won't be done until the end of the Heartbreaker runs today. Like I won't be able to make the choice, but um yeah, don't leave it too late because it's only open for another, I think, f like five minutes. So yeah, get on in there, make your predictions. Do you think the heartbreak will drop for me today? We had a massive, like an awesome turnout yesterday, but um, we might have to leave that for a little bit, like, I don't know. Cause um, I don't think we have, like not everyone is, obviously not everyone is here. That's okay. Apparently it's this. Copy. Don't crash my stream. You leave the group. Yep. Perfect. Uh, five achieves to go if anyone has Night Elf, Priest, Dwarf Hunter, Troll Rogue, Fear, no you don't. I checked, oh I was about to say, have you checked my spreadsheet? <laughs> I would love to help, but I, I, yeah, I do not know. I don't fucking know what my 50 tunes are. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna call it bye. Uh, and we're gonna make it this. Save. Boy. Uh, and then we're gonna log out. Rogue. Uh, 
Uh, so I have five achieves to go if anyone has an adult priest, dwarf, hunter, or troll. Uh, want me to cancel and reset the prediction? No, 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 that's fine. Leave it as it is. Um, it's the first couple of days we're going to be doing some learnings uh, about what works. Because, um, yeah, that's all right. It's just for the early birds. The early birds get to, get to vote. I don't know how horrible for them. I need Troll Rogue, Draenei, Pally, and Undead Warrior. Are you feeling a bit more awake slash better tonight? Um, I don't know. I, re I really don't know. Um, I think I was, I was fucking hype at the start of last, of the stream last night. I was like, yeah, let's do this. Let's go. And then by the end of it, I just wanted to die. So I think it's pro probably going to be a more appropriate time to ask me towards the end of stream. I think I'm feeling okay now. But it's like the start. So like, and it's been a fairly chill day. I haven't gotten too much done, um, but I did my Ember Court. I did, I've reset my garrisons. I've checked my emails and all my socials and all that. Like I've done, I've done a few bits, not tons of super productive stuff, but I've done a few bits and pieces. So um, I haven't expended too, too much energy today, I think. If you're able to tell us about your race class combos without checking anything, I would 100% gift subs. Biyama is a blood elf mage. Uh, Phelan is a troll druid. Alexia is a blood elf rogue. Repressly is a blood elf DK. Benedica is a goblin priest. Melissa is a Pandaran monk, because pandas are monks and monks are pandas. You cannot change my mind. Um, the one after that, I think, is Lillianne. She is a blood elf demon hunter. Kira is a blood elf warlock. And I'm, I'm done for Horde. I can't remember. I don't remember who's next. I don't remember who's next. You need to make a song? Yeah, look. No. <laughs> oh, fuck. I could probably guess them. Like if I got, if I had the names in front of me and not the, not the classes and races, I could probably tell you the, the classes, but I'm not sure about the races. Um, Bye. Um, I found a dwarf hunter. Yay! I'm sorry. No, no need to apologize. I felt the same way when I was hunting down that achieve. I, I know the feels. I've got one more boss to kill in Elf. I hope the Alliance runs awesome. Well, yeah, we've got a little while till we get to the Alliance, so you've got time. You've got time. That's five done. Mage! <clears throat> Camping the Dewdale portal spawn. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. I believe. I may make a troll rogue get her through Exile's Reach and sit her in Org here in a bit if Exile's Reach doesn't bug for me. Oh, it bugged? When I, like, back when I was starting off leveling a whole bunch of my tunes, I noticed a lot of people talking about how it was bugging out for them and stuff, like, in, in newcomer chat and shit. I didn't have any bugs at all. Like, my, my experience was super fucking smooth. So I'm like, I was so confused. So confused. Been around our boss earlier. Wonderful. <sighs> Excuse me. Fifty tunes versus Heartbreaker. And I'm gonna have to wait until 519 to be able to start doing Horde again. So How's this looking? It says six and we're on six. So it says 46 minutes and that's approximately right. Maybe it's doing better today. <clears throat> I have to remember your time, how long it takes to reset your garrison. Oh no. So yeah, it's been taking me longer lately. Uh, I have trimmed back what I've been doing though, massively. Um, so I'm not logging into all 50 tunes and doing their daily cooldowns. No, I, do, I don't have time. Maybe one day, where, like, if I if I can pay someone to do my social media and stuff for me, then maybe that, like, maybe then I'll be able to have time to do that kind of stuff. But at the moment, I simply don't. Um, 
so what I'm what I've done and I I'm not doing the the uh what's it's anymore. I'm not doing the barns anymore. Um so I'm not doing the barns anymore, so there's no fur or any of that kind of stuff required either. So I'm literally grabbing 72 cerulean pigment. Emptying the box at the sh the inscription in the scribe's hut, and then refilling it, and then logging logging out. Um, I'm also while I'm there though, while I'm actually grabbing stuff from the guild bank, I'm dumping in anything in excess of a thousand gold. So I keep one k on each tune. Anything else is being dumped in, uh, and I'm also because uh, Sunday's ATT runs ends up with several bags full on certain characters. Um, so I've been emptying out their bags as well um so yeah it doesn't take as long because i'm not waiting for craft times and i'm not filling multiple spot multiple things but uh yeah it's definitely it's definitely getting there because i just yeah and i only and i only do it every uh every wednesday um i don't the only other days i log in to every turn is when the cache is full when it hits 500 to loot it on every turn um and because no add-ons log in click log out log in click log out log in click log out um, and, uh, when there's a herb or a fur trader up, I log in just on the tunes who still need the pattern. Only on the tunes who still need the pattern. It would appear that we're having healer cues today. That's what we're at the moment, I should say. <clears throat> but yeah, so it's, um... I'm, I've definitely pared back what I'm doing. However, I've also expanded from 24 tunes to 50. So I'm still going through, oh my god. Uh, I actually, it was Garrison Crafting Day last Thursday. So I went through all 50 tunes and crafted all the cards and sent them all. And then so it took me, I think it took me three days to flip all of them. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that was, that was an entertaining fun time. Posture check. Yeah, okay, you're not wrong. Uh, healer tunes are faster than tank queues. Most of mine I'm able to queue as one or the other, which has been handy. At least no one has died at my fault yet. Yeah, I learned how to heal. I learned how to one button heal um, yesterday when I was going through all the tunes. Oh, but I'm sun. starting off with. Ah, Cinders! Thank you so much for the tier one sub. Much appreciated. Welcome to the Fianati. Um, what was I saying? Right, so. Um, I'm starting off with all of my DPS only characters so that if people have healers and tanks that they want to queue with, when I'm, when I'm stuck doing it by myself, I, I'll be, have a, I'll be able to have every single tune have either a tank or a healer queue or both. Um, so yeah, just flicking through the DPS only tunes first though. Okay. So that's seven. So all the mages, rogues, warlocks, and hunters. Oh. I forgot to mention, we do have Mount Makeup today. Look at this. Um, so I've got like a brown in my in my crease. And then I have like black, essentially. Like like a like a faded black, if that makes sense. Uh, in my outer corner, and then I've got this beautiful shimmery bullshit on my lids, um, and it's like a, it's almost like a burnt red kind of shade. It's like orangey red, but not like like red, not like like red, but um, more like just kind of a, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I own it, and it does not fly. Got to mention that that was a thing. There you go.
Mm, the Fianati, that's amazing. I Right? Um, many, many moons ago, um, back when I was... Uh, back before affiliates existed, uh, and when I was of quite obviously not a partner, it was like year one, um, and I had a Game Wisp account. Game Wisp is now defunct. It's gone. But it was kind of like a uh, like Patreon, except very specifically for like Twitch people. Like that was the idea. It was it was for streamers. But and back then Twitch was pretty much the only platform you could stream on. Um, and uh, so it was yeah, it was a way to give uh, give non partners a way to monetize their content. And it was suggested to me, and I did it. And I'm like, what am I going to call it? And everyone started throwing around ideas. And there had been this this ongoing joke. Um, this inside joke for a while by that point that I was part of the Illuminati and I said bitch if I was part of the Illuminati I'd be partnered by now because this was like year one right um and and so we and then we we also you know the pattern of uh the pattern of turning everything into a fear pun fear um it's where we like uh fiamily is is everyone like the followers and stuff so like you know we we the community is the fiamily and that inner circle of, of subscribers is the Fianati. I like it. Eight attempts. So I have two more on Horde before we switch to Ally. <clears throat> Fossilized Raptor, no. Gone Night Howl, no. Black Primal Raptor, no. I was gonna guess Snapback Scuttler? No. Red Primal Raptor? No. Just help me get my 31st unit to 50 today. Ah, oh, yay! Got one more attempt. Fantastic, Yuri. Congratulations. Well done. <sighs> we had a healer for half a second there. <laughs> Cute as only healer. Oh, evidently not, because it had you in as a DPS for a while there. Citroen, why was the Q saying three DPS? I, I, I could not tell you. I could not tell you. It's just having a fun time. We entered five instances recently. Good. It's, it's accurate at least. Tag on. We need more units. More units. I'm still auto attacking at least. It's a healer. Uh, make sure you pop down your units, guys. Do that. Oh, okay, I was auto attacking. We need more units to be able to defeat the battle. And perfume and cologne, I swear to god. It takes forever to loot. That we get. <laughs> Was that- oops! Yeah! <laughs> That's really funny, Jack. <laughs> oh, that's great. Alright, one more hoardy. One more hoardy, then we switch to alliance. And it's a warlock. All right, so we're finishing up on Gisalia. Um, Crimson Water Strider, no. Uh, so today is the day my blacksmith gets enough blood to for the mount. Fantastic, Harry, congrats! Oops, indeed, fat-fingered space bar before the paste. 
It's fantastic. Love that. Fiery War Horse. No! AI and CK3 sometimes. Yellows declare war against my liege when I am a 200 troop count. My king has 5k troops. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. I, I've seen that happen a couple of times. I'm like, what? What? What do you think you are going to accomplish by trying to defeat me? I am going to squish you, puny humans. It was great. I liked it a lot. Hellfire Infernal, final guess. No. You can keep guessing, though. Up to you. Up to you. Just sitting there watching as a duke. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm keenly watching the clock because I think we might this today might be the day that we get it like like good and smooth smooth. We'll see how we go. This is two number ten, so let's uh hop on in. Is that that's not one of um is that one of us or is that? I keep thinking I'm seeing character names that belong to streamers. Red dragon turtle. Good guess, but no. Alright, that's the first 10 hordies done. And it is 447. That took us 28 minutes. Mm, I just want to know what the man is, of course. Of course, I, I respect that. Respect that. Corcoran Juggernaut, no. Amber Scorpion, no. So it does say 10. Ah, Koala! Yes, if you'd like to join in with us, all you need to do is type exclamation add me in chat. You'll get my battle tag and you can add me to your Battle.net friends list. And uh, you can jump in via quick join. Like these folks are doing. Baby to da 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 baby to na 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 da na Reminds me of like the Fallen Charger. It is not the Fallen Charger. And that's bang on half an hour. 4.49 for Alliance. might just be the shininess though it is very shiny um so because the light is reflecting it it might be making it look a little bit lighter or paler than it is it is like a red like a rust red color that i have on my lids Let's see if we can get the camera to see it right yeah it's uh it's Heckin' beautiful. That's what I've got on my lids. <laughs> my server. Molting everywhere. Um, well, I was... So you jumped on ally, of course, of course. I know that not everyone has stuff on both sides, and that's totally okay. But, um, yeah, if you do, it is an option. Gnome is the OP alliance race. When I was, uh, back when I played alliance, I was a gnome mage. Uh, because of the int bonus. 
Zero Alliance tunes when I make one. They will all be gnome boys. Ruby Panther, no. Maybe Nelf. I would actually honestly recommend going through and unlocking all the allied races. Just because achievements and completion. Is it the Junk Heap Drifter? It is not. It is not. That was a quick one. Delightful. Grab food and drink, BRB, enjoy. I hope it's delicious and delightful. The allied race is not named Mechanomes is fine, I am <laughs> I've got Mechanomes. The like the, the warlock I was just on is a Mechanome. Elusive Quick Hoof, no. Maybe the only allied race that I'd play is Void Elf. Red Dragon Hawk? No. Good morning, Boot. Ghost Rider Gronling. Nope. I think I might make a strawberry banana smoothie. Could you make me one too, please? That sounds delightful. My bubble tea, my new, my most recent bubble tea order is arriving on Monday. Well, Monday to Wednesday, but estimated Monday. So I'm excited. Very excited. We've got strawberry milk tea in there, which is why that made me think of it. Are you sure? Fantastic. It's fine. Just, just like freeze it and put it in like a, a, a cold bag and then ship it, and by the time it gets to me, it should be defrosted. <laughs> so please. <laughs> Lil Donkey. No. I must have missed it. What mount are we guessing? Um, the mount that my makeup is inspired by. So almost every stream. Usually it's every stream, but because of the, the short streams and the bonus streams and shit, I'm just, I can't. I cannot. Um, every, every usual stream, every regular stream, I do my makeup inspired by a mount from World of Warcraft. Uh, and people try to guess what mount it is by like the color scheme and stuff like that. Sometimes I do little extra fancy bits and pieces here and there, um, but not always. Sometimes I don't have the time or the spoons. Uh, but yeah, so that's um, the one that I'm wearing today. I've got I've got like a, a brown, a warmish sort of brown, but medium brown in my crease. I've got some black on the the outer corner just here and then that was the the one that i was showing up to the camera like that is the the color that i've got on my lids because when it's thin like this and because it's so goddamn sparkly the lights reflecting off it are making it look a lot lighter than it is it is like a, a deeper rust like a deep rust red so like rust red can be quite pale but this is a like a deeper darker version of that makes me really want a banana milkshake banana smoothies are like the fucking bomb banana milkshakes are good too but I prefer a banana smoothie. Um, to to clarify, for me, the the definition between like the 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 line between the two is that a milkshake is made with syrup, and a smoothie is made with the actual item that imbues the flavor. So, like a strawberry milkshake would be made with a strawberry syrup, like like strawberry like topping, kind of like ice cream topping, that kind of deal. Um, whereas a strawberry smoothie would be made with actual strawberries. They could be frozen, they could be powdered, they could whatever, but they're still actual, the fruit, rather than a, a syrup that may or may not have any of the fruit in it. Uh, Molly, no. What I expect is a mount from? Not yet. Too early. Mudback River Beast, no. Amber Ardenmoth, no. Uh, still bound of Arab be mine. Yay! It's taken me like two weeks by only doing the world quests for the bloods. Oh dear. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Oh, my dad made them vanilla ice cream, fresh bananas, and just a touch of milk. Yeah, it's a smoothie. It's in, in my opinion, that's a smoothie. But, I mean, to each their own. Totally fine. Um, but yeah, like, banana milkshakes can, like, banana, like, flavoring can be freaking delicious. But, um, there's, there's just, there is an itch that real banana scratches that syrup just doesn't especially when you add like a good thwack of cinnamon i'll oh, piss off what is going on mm, black karaji battle tank no found bananas to eat how appropriate warlord's death wheel no snapback scuttler no
I'm the only 50 in this group. Brilliant. I already guessed that one, so I don't feel so bad now. No, it's okay. Yeah, we get duplicate guesses a lot, especially when the colors really are reminiscent of a particular thing. People are like, oh, it has to be that. I'm like, no, no, it's not. Obsidian Gravewing. No. Watch your feet. Yeah, yeah. that way. <clears throat> Black Riding Goat. No. Striped Night Saber. No. I'm starting to think maybe I did a bad job. <sighs> it's three alliance down. Um, Fear, you know how many mounts have this color scheme? Yes. Uh, not a bad job. It looks awesome. The colors are so popular. They are. They are. Dark Forge Ram. No. Waste Wonder Sky Terror. No. So to reiterate, uh, this is a mount that I own and it cannot fly. It is a ground mount only. That might help narrow down people's guesses. Uh, Vicious War Fox. I'm not sure. No. Swift Breeze Strata. No. Restrata Stallion. No. Court Sinrunner. No. Skull Ripper. No. <laughs> Shiba Angry. Great Brewfest Kodo. No. Oh no, wait, that's the wrong link. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, where are we? This one is the sparkly one. Can I have the mouth, Why please? The sun well. No, I cannot. Uh, Stimpy! Thank you so much for the Prime Gaming sub. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a lovely day. Um, Alliance Horde neutral. It's a horde mount. It's a horde mount. With a hide cliff stomper, no. Swift Zulian Panther, no. Battle Gargan, no. Crimson Hard Hide, no. Fiery War Horse, no. Welcome on in, Stev. Hope you're having a lovely day. Um, Desire's Battle Gargan, no. Fossil Raptor, no. Corridor Creeper, no. Um, uh, Blood Flank Charger, yes. <laughs> it is the Blood Flank Charger. And I, my, my headcanon is that Sheba saw the guess and you, yes, see, yep, mm hmm yep. <laughs> oh, it's the blood flank charger, which I can't show you because I'm on Alliance, um, but I can give you this. Uh, I'm on my Alliance team, couldn't see the Horde ones. Oh no, look, there are flaws to every method of checking mounts. Every method. Uh, I love that one. It is! You got it! You got it, Cinders. Can I have a number from you? From 1 to 100, please. Uh, Lol Same was also on an ally. Do we have a poor Sheba command? I feel like we need a poor Sheba command! Poor Sheba, who wins like 75% of the mount guesses. <laughs> you did freaking get it. 
Ah, uh, that man literally has the same color scheme as every other Horde man. Yes. Pretty much. Pretty much. Oh, a lot of them are very similar. A lot of them are very similar. Shiba has a meltdown. Uh, Cinders, a number from you. Pick a number between 1 and 100, please. 19 seconds, my butt. Looks like we're looking for a tank. Interesting. It's still less than 100. It is. 35. 35. Alrighty. Ooh. Looks like you have won. Aetherborn. You have two R's and two cinder R's. Just double check that that's your profile picture. It is. Brilliant. All right. Congratulations, you have won a steam key. Enjoy. All right, onward. Yes, it is the blood flank charger. I'm glad you like it. From Q's Alliance hate taking responsibility, horde hate not eating things. Look, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Oh fuck. There's a person in our group who's rolling numbers, just randomly rolling. Interesting. Nine hundred and fifteen attempts. We're getting to 950, 950 today. For anyone who's trying to figure that out. So. Hello, Ram. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a great day. I was totally planning on sticking around and helping out for a couple of hours. We had our swimming carnival today. I'm so fucking tired with a touch of heat stroke. I'm going to bed. No worries. Rest well, meaty. We'll see you next time. Well, tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Do you actually need to loot the boss? No, the tokens come out of the box, don't they? I need the, I need the, the love tokens. Holy shit. Friends. Um, welcome back, Dunks. Um, probably not, actually. Yeah, because the, to the tokens come out of the, the heart-shaped box, right? They don't come from the boss themselves. Otherwise, people would just, you know, do it over and over again to get the tokens. So, yeah, I don't have to. Okay, I won't. Because fuck that. Ah, oh, does it get mailed anyway? Ooh, actually, that's a that's also a good point. Probably. It's going good. Sleep soon, though. Just finished 12 hours shift. Ah, oh, I want to get some love rocket farms in, though. Yes, Ram. Absolutely. Absolutely. Join us. Join us. If you'd like to jump in queue with us, you can type exclamation add me into chat. You can add me to your battle Battle.net friends list. And uh, you can use the quick join function to jump in when I join a queue. I'm currently on Alliance side, but I have, uh, how many have I done? Five. This is six. So after this one, I have 14 more Alliance tunes to do and 20 more Horde tunes to do. Um, so like plenty of opportunities. Plenty of opportunities. Ten seconds to loot six items. Oh god. Yeah, no. I I too would um would skip that. In fact, I'm gonna. Ah, so I'm back at the top. Alright, cool. So I've done all of the DPS only queues for Alliance. That's good. Uh, oh, EU. Right, okay. That, yes. <laughs> I'm playing on EU. There was a night shift bugger. I do know we do have a, like a handful of EU members in the community though. So if there is anyone around, I don't know, maybe, maybe you guys can make like an EU family community and, and do, your, do your runs together through there. That'd be kind of fun. Uh, I am doing tank and healer cues now from my tunes on Alliance, so um, it might you might need to be speedy with the quick join. 
Because the, the cues should pop pretty quick. Should. <clears throat> ah, a bit late, unfortunately, Kimmers. Um, next round, though. I've still got a few more alliance to do. If you need comfy underwear, or you want comfy undies, highly recommend step one. Most comfortable underpants I have ever worn. Not affiliated or, um, like I'm not, not an affiliated link or code. So I don't make cash if you use them, but you get a discount if you use step 15 as a code. Get 15% off. Uh, and it's a sponsor, they're sponsored posts. So if you would like to help me, gain more sponsorships in future, uh, the way to do that is to interact with my socials posts. Um, there's a tweet and there is a uh, Instagram feed post. The higher engagement rates I get on them, the more likely I am to be able to get future deals. Uh, but, but they're also ridiculously comfy underwear. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. Out we hop. Someone just dinged. Wait, was it me? It was me! <laughs> I'm 54. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Like, somebody dinged. Who was that? Oh, it me! Good. Good. Fucking Jesus. Oh, dear. The mouth, it me, I know, right? It's I'm I'm very good at this. Good. I'm still in healer spec. <laughs> Fifty sixties on its way. Oh, actually, I have to update the spreadsheet with my uh, newest level. If you want to be able to switch tunes and stuff and load into the dungeon faster, turn off all unnecessary add-ons, including LVY. <laughs> so this is number eight for my Alliance tunes. I've got two more Alliance tunes and then I switch back to Horde. Fear is healing. I know, 50-60s or 150s. Well, I'd need to be able to afford a second account <laughs> for the second one. Uh, what am I doing? Logging out. Done the Warlock, onto the Pally. Full group! <laughs> Do we have the wrong... Wait, no, what? There we go. <laughs> yes! Oh shit, hang on. Am I on a healing spec? I'm a tank. Fuck. Okay, gimme. Have fun. That feels pretty fucking awesome. Thank you guys. Already bet. Ah, too late. Already switched. 
Two tanks, no healers. Okay, go. Just don't stand in shit and you'll all be fine. That's right. If you die, you just release and you're right there anyway. Edry! Hello, love. Thank you so much for the raid. How is your stream? How are you doing today? You guys, like, okay, so the reason I just, I yelled about having a full group and having Sheba trying to join and make number six, um, like, it has always kind of been this, like, fantasy thing of, like, what if I could put an entire fucking 30-person raid group together and just community members and go and do content and stuff? Like, that would just, that would be, like, one absolutely massive keystone, like, for success, you know what I mean? So, um... That's why I kind of got really fucking excited. There is a reason for it, I swear. Okay, one more Alliance tune, and then I switch back to Horde. And this is Nalana. Tenth was Nalana. Um, Beck and Heal, kinda. Good, wonderful. Thank you for the cast of Command, Shiba. Much appreciated. No weapons. There we go. Ah, oh, amazing stream. Got two new friends on Phasmo. Oh, well done. Congratulations. Be so amazing soon. It's gonna be a lot easier to do in 925. Absolutely. Absolutely. It would be wild. Always fun when two new Phasma players get to experience jump scares. I think nine was my limit because I was in LFR before I joined. Yeah, potentially. Depending on um it is, I believe it's when you zone in, not when you leave. I believe it's when you zone in, not when you leave. So if you depending on how long the LFR took you, you might be okay. Um, can't wait for you to find your first demon. Someone told me in general that a pro tip when looking for a troll rogue is to create a starter account and make one. I don't understand why that's a pro tip. Because people are being sarcastic, maybe, Yuri? I don't know. Or, like, like that's how the pros do it, I guess. Pro tips don't have to be, like, super freaking complicated and shit, do they? It just has to be, like, like a tip from a pro. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Good morning from you. No luck on Love Rocket yesterday. No, unfortunately not. We've got another fifty attempts today. This is num this is attempt number twenty for the day so far. And I can't queue on my first alliance, uh, my 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 eleventh horde tune until five nineteen, and it's currently five fourteen. So I actually like I'm I'm efficient today. We're going well. I think this is good. I think this is good. <laughs> Because I'm, I'm really nervous, especially after yesterday's run, where it took us like four hours. It was three and three and forty-five minutes or something like that to get through all fifty tunes. Because of my fuck ups and because of the like a weird thing happening with lockouts and stuff like that. Because of all of that shit, um, it uh, it took us a long time. So I'm hoping that if I can get it to be this efficient right the way through. I might actually make my final 50 attempts because in, in Australia, or in Brisbane specifically, dailies reset at 1am and the event doesn't finish until 4am. So there's three hours to get a 15th attempt in on each tune, but it's only three hours. So if it took me four hours, I wouldn't get all of them done. So I'm, I'm hoping that I can get this like real fucking snappy. Real snappy. Where did the button go? Okay, so that's 920. That's my 10th Alliance tune. So I'm switching back to Horde, but I cannot queue for four more minutes. So we're gonna do battle. Uh, and I finished on Gisalia. Gisalia was my 10th. Which means my next one will be Mage, here. Yeah. 
Um. I'm gonna lurk on the computer, get rid of the bed, since four cursed builds during the morning. Yes. Oh, I can't believe I leveled a druid to 60 so I could join in, only for them to announce cross faction as I hit 60. Oh. Yeah, but cross faction might not be here for like six months. That's the thing. It's not coming in 9-2. They're talking 9-2-5, and we do not know when that's gonna happen. We, we have zero, like, completely no idea. There's going to be a lot of testing for them to do and stuff like that. So, like, you're looking at potentially half a year or even longer, maybe. We don't know. So, but it means you can join us now instead of all the way then. Dano, Koala, and Loza, congratulations on your bonus shit. On to the next one. I actually did that leveling one right now. Get my son to make tunes when I need them for those achieves. Brilliant. Christ, 20 already? Yep. We're zipping through. Zip, zip, zipping. Ah, uh, mage is still on cooldown, as is the healer. Get five assists from buffing. I think that's flag bear is good at that, so let's do that. Um, just because they're rare, easy to make another account to do it. Yeah, I think I stood up general a little. I got on all four groups. Nice. Is that the Monday night, Tuesday morning? Yeah. Yeah, 1 a.m. on Tuesday is when it hits 1 a.m. So, um... I am probably going to make that an extended stream. Here is the issue. Um, so I'd be starting at 4 p.m. and then going through past 10 until potentially 4 the next morning. That's a 12 hour stream overnight and then I'd have like the chance to maybe get like two hours of sleep and then I have payroll day. This is my issue. I, I don't know how to, I don't know how to run that. Like, I am, I am honestly considering asking for the day as, um, as leave. <laughs> but I don't want to, like, I, I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll talk to, I'll talk to my manager, um, tomorrow and be like, hey, so here's the thing. Because then if it drops before then, I don't have to do that anyway and I can just cancel the leave. Just stay up that night. Uh, it was the only one left for the achievement. Just made one on an alt account. So you do 10 rounds on horde, then 10 on ally in an hour. No, it's not about faction. It's about server. I have my horde and alliance on two different servers. That's how I run it. Uh, it's not faction. It's server based. So if you have all 50 of your characters on one server, you're, you're shit out of luck. Unless you want to pay for 30 transfers or 20 transfers. Um, yeah, it's not. It's server based. The 10 instances per hour limit is server based. Um, uh, factions are cool. Yeah, not factions. Servers. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I, I have it separated that way so that they can all interact with each other with BOEs and shit like that. Um, it just, it made sense to me. What, Jas? You can actually steal the Pope's hat now. Oh, fuck. Oh, Lord. Hmm. Cough and your leave date. Yeah, that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking. Someone is creating a troll rig bring it to org. What a community. It's an item, so I can therefore steal it. Well done. Well done. Is the meat that you put in the fridge defrosted yet? after the people fest in his own way. Indeed. Indeed he is. I know it's 519, but, um, uh, saved instances says I've still got a minute to go. Oopsie. Four, 54 characters on my account. I don't think so. I think you are incorrect. There we go, 55 seconds. People tiara. Get your quick join buttons ready. What that add on? It says right here, Tom Cat's Tours. Or the one up the top here also says just next to the timer, saved instances. Uh, one of the cloud serpents.
this one. Because I said so. There we go. We are free to do another one. Mm. Mm, it's always nice when the DPS queues go too fast a little bit. Tom Kato has never seen this window. It's the little heart. If you've turned off all your minimap buttons, you won't have seen it. If you've got the old version as well, um, a while back, like a long while back, he merged all the individual add-ons into one big add-on. Um, so you may, if you've still got the old version, you might have to install the conglomerate version instead. Uh, but yeah, if you've got all the minimap buttons turned off, you won't be, you won't have seen it. Hello, Trad. Good afternoon. Okay, there we go. So that's 5.22 for Horde. We got into our 11th instance. Love rocket farming. It is the heartbreaker. Uh, and we have done 20 attempts today so far. So we're going all right. Going all right. I think this is my last DPS only tune on Horde as well, so it'll be knocking me back to the start of the list. Hmm. Hey Silver, welcome on in. Hope you're having a lovely day. Nice fingers crossed, thank ya. Mine too. Fingers and toes and everything else. Anything that can be crossed is. <laughs> I've got my my lucky shamrock earrings on as well. Ah, oh, speaking of which, I need to. I've got a um bottle brush, like a water bottle brush, water bottle cleaning brush uh, that I need to add to my wish list. Ah <laughs> oh, dear. Eyes crossed also. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anything and everything. All the lucky stuff. I want this bloody thing to drop. <laughs> Luck. And now. That's what's been itching me. I had a hair caught in my singlet top. Okay. <clears throat> More likely to be put in as resto. That it doesn't like. It's a little bit strange. I wonder if Ivanhoe is queued as um, just DPS or if it's uh, tank and DPS. Uh, anything, everything, all the time. Yes, I hear what I miss. Uh, Twenty-one runs, no mount, and my eyeshadow is the blood flank charger. How you going, dude? We're at 921 now. I'm a tank. Interesting. Is 
So thrash, you reckon? There's my swipe, so I should be fine. Yeah, it's probably a best I uh, probably a better idea to queue as like literally everything you possibly can. Um just to make the queues go as fast as possible, because like as we've said a few times, even a one minute queue on fifty characters, that's an hour of waiting. Uh, almost an hour of waiting. Um if we had both a tank and a healer, it probably would have been uh fairly quick. Okay, there we go. Down. Uh, thrash, swipe, 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 thrash, swipe, 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 thrash, swipe. So those just those just melted. They died entirely too quickly. I couldn't even practice, Jack. What the hell am I supposed to do? <laughs> uh, I got the timing sorted now. I think so. It seemed to be pretty good last time, so, um, 40 seconds. All right, I'm going to wait till the 40 seconds is up and then I'll queue. Um, how's it going today? Is it going faster? It's going more efficiently. It's definitely going smoother. Um, and using Tomcat's tours, using the find group button here, I can't accidentally queue for dungeons instead of, uh, instead of the event. So that helps with that issue. Um, and Saved instances seems to be fairly reliable today, but we'll see. I'm just not queuing until that says 19, and we'll see how we go. Oh, you got the toy! I thought it was the mount. Oh, no. Oh, Jack, I'm so sorry. How How is your heart? Are you okay? Congrats on the toy. Good time zone to you too, Fade. There we go. Cued. Stupid question. Is there crossplay between, say, Thrall on NA and Southang on Oceanic? I'd assume, yeah. The same region? So, yes. The only ones we can't, like, we can't play with, like, Chinese servers or Taiwanese servers or Korean servers or EU. But, um, NA and OCE, same, same region. Uh, exclamation add me. If it says you can't add me, like, if, if you, if you add me, like, if you type exclamation add me, you get the, um, uh, my battle tag, my battle tag, if you add me, if it won't, if it doesn't let you, then it means we can't play together. Oh no, shit, because we can do cross-faction fucking cross-region. That's a bad test now. Damn it. If you don't see me in quick join, either I'm on the wrong faction or we can't play together. Um, those two are your generators, your spender is iron fur. That's bare outside of defensives. Right. He's good that time. God, he's lovely. He is. It's broken. OCE is also NA, indeed, as well as um, Brazil as well, Latin America, that stuff. They're all the same region too. Uh, maybe you'll be trying healing or tanking after this? Nah. nah. I'll do it for fast cues, but it's... Nah. Uh, damn moment, need more coffee? You're fine. You're fine. An illusion? I've been having a lot of trouble breathing, like yesterday and today. Like a lot of trouble breathing. Why is... There we go. An illusion? What are you hiding? <laughs> Something's not quite right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, fuck. I need coffee. Words are hard, apparently. Always. Well, la, 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 la. <laughs> yeah. 
Ah, uh, Jaslock. I have a box of stuff on the floor. The box of stuff is, um... For giveaways, actually. That was quick. Left the first bloody zone yet. Ugh. Do you guys remember Bit first? When I was eating all those disgusting jelly beans and we unlocked a bunch of prizes and stuff. Yep. They arrived today, right before stream. Wait. Hang on, why is this already on my- Oh, did I did that before I entered? I guess I must have. Yeah, she's not on the- Okay, whew. For a second there, I thought I'd doubled up on a character and I'm like, that's a bit silly. Why would I do that? I have to be on my 10 tries so far. I'm gonna hit the bed though. Good luck to you on your tries. Thank you, Ram. Much appreciated. Rest well. Fingers crossed for the both of us. <clears throat> ah, someone's offline. Someone else is standing in stuff. More beans to eat. I do. I do, but um, that's not what we're doing. So that was 9.24. So this will be number five. Okay. Um, if you should have been every time she doesn't get them out? No. No. Beans are for fundraising. I should be so dead. Yeah, beans are for fundraising. Um, I have to pay for the beans somehow. So I eat the beans when I'm paid to eat the beans. And then the payment pays for more beans. But I do have, so like the, I had. There it is. I need to clean out these drawers. There's so much shit in here that does not need to be in here. But that was the last of that box. And then I have this one and this one and this one. I stocked up when Aldi had them for Christmas. Um, because they are very useful when it comes to the funder raising. I've also done it for charity as well though, so that's... I was thinking we could do it maybe for the 6th anniversary. But we'll see. Uh, right. Rightio then. How are we looking? 19. Find group. <laughs> so I'm gonna get some reference to rock. Maybe Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage. What reference to the rock movie? Are you make is this you making a reference, Nano, or is this there's a reference somewhere that is just like oh okay no I don't pay attention so no I have not <laughs> not personally no but someone might have someone might have ah uh, shit what was the other one I needed vivify and then there's also renewing mist there we go. Your 
I am grateful. Oh, eat a bean. <laughs> oh, shit. That's hilarious. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, dear. Like, for real, try not to get them out while I'm away. Zam, you gotta be here to clip it. I'm kidding. I seven this for sixty. Look, maybe. Um, they're they're useful to kind of have for just silly stuff and things to do, you know, um, for silly events and stuff. So I think, I think I'll always kind of keep stock of them to an extent. They are very useful. But yeah, I've got a pair of Twitch sunglasses, a Twitch bucket hat, a Twitch towel, a pair of Twitch slippers, and a Twitch bathrobe, and a set of Twitch pins. Bitfest pins specifically. Uh, so that's fun. I'm just, I'm a little bit concerned on how much it'd cost me to ship these. Um, cause some of them, I mean, though they are light, they are re relatively large. I know in Australia I could probably ship them for a half decent price, but I'm trying to make sure that my, um, anniversary stream doesn't cost me $500, <laughs> you know? So we'll, we'll see how we go. Um, there are a couple of things I have that are freebies to give away. Um, there are a couple of things I have that are digital. Um, and then, yeah, I've got the, the things that I'm considering shipping are the, the earrings and then putting together the hat, towel, and sunglasses into one bundle because I feel like that's appropriate. And then the slippers and the bathrobe into one bundle and then maybe the pins separately. I think, maybe. Okay. I'm just, I'm, yeah, a little nervous about how much it'd cost to ship. I'll have to do some research. Uh, great, we're not gutless, we are incompetent. It's a reference to a part of the movie. And then the, it's been the greatest honor to serve you. I think that's from the start to mid. Oh, okay, yeah, um... I don't think I've seen The Rock movie with Sean Connery or Nicolas Cage, so I, th I, that's probably why I have not gotten the reference. But yeah, pretty much almost everything in WoW is a reference. Um, almost. So it's kind of, it gets a bit tricky, doesn't it? it? Gets a bit tricky. Wow, that queue was so long. I, I, I dropped a, uh, I, I'm down to 18 instance locks. Hopefully the next one will be relatively instant. It definitely looks like it's healer cues at the moment on um on hold side. No joy. Not yet. 926 attempts. We're gonna get to 950 today. Down the warlock, onto the warrior. I'm really excited to, to cross everything else from Lovers in the Air off my list, even if we don't get the mount. Getting everything else from the event done is just, that's, that's a nice thing. It's a nice thing. <clears throat> or would be. <laughs> By the sun well. Ellie! 12 months. My god. 12 months. Oh, look, it does have them ticked off. That's cool. It puts them to the bottom of the list when they're ticked off. I like that. Thank you so much for the support, Ali. 
Much appreciated. Uh, has anyone seen the Euphoria TV show? No, I don't think I have. If it's not on Netflix Australia, I haven't seen it, firstly. <laughs> um, uh, and then from then, obviously, I've only seen a couple things. But maybe somebody else has. Perhaps somebody else has. I'm in fury. Shit. Excuse. Look out. And, oh. I need to grab me a shield. <laughs> I do have a stretch redemption as well. Um, so I will do that. Short lie. Oh, I've got the shield. Okay, nice. Why does it keep moving? Stuff. Ugh, stop jinxing it, Max. Holy fuck. Every time you say that, you're guaranteeing that it won't drop. My lord. <laughs> Every time. So now I have to assume that you're purposefully jinxing me because you're trying to sabotage my efforts. And that's not very nice. Please stop. <laughs> It was funny the first couple times, it's no longer funny. We've got two fucking weeks at this shit. <laughs> uh, Alright, on to the next one. The drops gifted sub to me? No. No. I don't have the money to give subs to anybody. Uh, I'm flat broke. Um, yeah, no. Okay. Here we go. Taking bets on it being a holy queue. Thank you. Well, shit. Here we go. This most movie is amazing. Please expect deliveries in seven to fourteen working days. Brilliant. I, I look forward to it. Yuri. I look forward to it. So I've made a whole bunch of bookings um, for the weekend. A whole bunch, two. I've made two. Um, but mum, mum and stepdad are coming up to Brisbane. Not this week, but next weekend. And um, they're, they're also picking up my stepbrother, who is in the vicinity, or will be at, in the vicinity at some point. Um, so they're going to pick him up, and they're bringing him for dinner and lunch, and then he's skedaddling. Because we're doing dinner on Friday, lunch on Saturday, breakfast on Sunday. Um, and so he's going to be here for the dinner and lunch. And then it turns out a couple of family friends who have, like, have been friends of the family since before I was born. Uh, so I grew up with them. They're essentially family to me. Are also going to be in Brisbane at the time. So they're coming to dinner and lunch as well. So it's going to be fucking reservations for seven. What is reservations for seven? Um, but I, I scouted out a couple of places. Oh, I must have a shield equipped. Oops. Noted next time. I'm so excited. I'm looking forward to all the food and just having an absolute blast with people I haven't seen in yonks. It's gonna be so good. I'm oh, I'm so excited. Uh, that was 928 so I've got two more hoardies to do and then we're going back to Alliance. Two more horde then Alliance. Tee shield. Yeah look. 
Look, I'm tr I'm trying, right? I'm trying. And the runs have definitely slowed down. Uh The runs have definitely slowed down because uh I'm running late. So 4.49 was when I did my first alliance run and it's now 5.46. So I've got three minutes to get two runs done and I don't think that's going to happen. So we are I'm running a little behind now. So these queues must be slower on Horde side. Hopefully that battle goes nice and quick. I won't, I'll, I'll still do, it, it's fine. I can still do the fight. I just won't open the box. <clears throat> All right, I'm healing. I'm like, why, why won't it work while I'm chasing after the thing? No one's dying except me. Oz, Loza, Max, and Z, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Skin chest! Make sure you place those units if you would like a uh, skin, potentially. If you, why don't you have a macro to open the box? Less fun. Less fun. Uh, 9.29. Another shaman. Is this? Who's this? It looks like I do have a couple of characters, or at least one. I saw one. Listen, A, who's sitting on 20, which means I can go buy one of those things. Fia, I'm saving up for something else. Yeah, some are close, but, um... Because it's a maximum of 10 that you can get from the event. So I still have a couple of opportunities to get, um, a tune that has 20. But I'll deal with that after we're done the runs. <laughs> Uh, looking for shows to binge on binge and some look interesting. Nice. Hope you find one to enjoy. Got Discovery Plus recently and I have access to 25 seasons of Ghost Adventures. I'm happy, Shiba. Well done. Well done. Now it's a tank queue? Of course. The moment I switch to a, a, a tune that can't tank, it's tank queues. I talking to a nurse today during infusion. She was saying how she has passwords from her family subs to various platforms, so she has lots to watch. Yeah, a lot of people do that. We get a group together and everyone buy, like everyone subscribes to one particular thing and then they just kind of account share all of them. Um, Netflix was looking into ways to prevent that from happening, but I don't think they won. I don't think they figured it out. Family plans are way cheaper. Oh, I'm healing. Right. Oops.
Uh, things like Spotify and YouTube, Family Clans are the way to go. Oh yeah, even um, like Nintendo Switch Online. Uh, like, by getting a family plan for a year is... I'm pretty sure it was cheaper than getting two individual plans. Like, it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Okay, so that's 20 Horde. So we're going to switch back to Alliance. Well, my 10th was Nalana, so I need to go whoever's after... Oh, shit, did I just switch them? I did. Um, yeah, I know. Um, <clears throat> I need to look into a device thing you do for being able to watch those shows on the big TV, since it is a dumb TV. Myself and six of my friends are on the same Nintendo family plan. It costs 35 US a dollar a year. We all send five dollars to our friend who owns it, yeah. Got my mail delivery today and that brow pomade is freaking adorable. Yeah? Is it good? Is it good? That also, that's super quick shipping too. That's amazing. I was surprised how fast I got here. Yeah, that's awesome. That's super good. We're we testing it out this week. Perfect. Ah, uh, it's just nice. The family plans don't force you to be in the same household, let alone the same area. Family plan, I mean, has people all around the world in it. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I think folks who so carrying and shipping. Huh? I couldn't work there. Fair enough. Hmm, if you do the shipping and carrying. Ah, gotcha. Just watched my hand colors looking good so far. Very creamy. Yay. Yeah, the ones that I've used have all been really creamy. Like, really lovely. The healer left. Right, okay. That explains a lot. I'm guessing they hit lockout. Interesting. Uh, Alright, on to the next one. Get it right? No, not yet. Not yet.
Why are you putting me in as a DPS? Oh, you noobs. Um, there appears to be an artifact called a sponge on a stick. It reduces your health. Interesting. I am taking med stuff because I did my infusion. I can stop. Fantastic. That's awesome. Good job on waiting for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, okay, sorry. I thought you were saying that you were taking meds, and then because you did your infusion, you can stop taking the meds, and that's fantastic. But no, never mind. <laughs> um, I think it's just some of the uh, some of the little typos and stuff were just making it really difficult for me to understand because my brain is not working properly. Uh, I'm I'm like more tired than usual and really run down and everything, and my brain just can't compute. So I'm having some trouble reading your messages. I uh, have so far seen four separate Excaliburs. Good. Wonderful. Good morning, Raven. It is evening for me. It's about to hit 6pm. Almost to 6pm. But we're going well. We're going well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> bum bum Ah, uh, it's okay, autocorrect is partially to blame for sure. Yeah, autocorrect can uh, definitely be that way. Can definitely be that way. No mount. On to the next one. Uh, I'm glad to see I'm not the only one who sings hums to the zone music. Oh, absolutely not. Um, when we started in BFA and we were in Desire Law for the very first time, I actually said aloud on stream, how long is it going to take before I start humming this music? And Jaffs was like, two days, tops. Like, because you have to you have to get used to the music, you have to know what happens with the music. But yeah, and it, it literally took me about two days before I started humming along. So yeah, you are definitely not the only one. Definitely not the only one. All right. Scotland has fallen apart and their one province holding king is currently at war with his sister over his chair. Sounds about right. Oh dear. Oh dear. Sure, they're not gonna lie, although it's more we're at war with England because they nicked our stone. Uh oh. It's 
sort of magic died, his heir that inherited lost a 10% chance to stop a boar. I got excommed. Oh no! I was saying on these, but I just washed my hands pretty vigorously in the brow for my lip line. It did not move. I'm very excited to see how they go on my face. Gotta love that, hey? Like the wash test? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I zoned out, and as I was coming back into focus, all I hear is Scotland has fallen apart. And I immediately said, well, yeah, the whole world is. Until I, in fact, realized that this was a CK3 commentary. Yes. Yep, that's great. That's hilarious. Um, had so many artifacts as well. Stone of Scone. So it is the stone. Stone of Scone from Persona. There you go. Multitudes of games. Oh, we lost a DPS. I'm guessing they hit instance cap. Yeah, too many instances, good luck, y'all. Yeah. Historical pieces have been placed in the game. Why is there an Excalibur in India? Good question. Don't lick it. Stone of Scone is what Scottish kings were crowned on until the English nicked it and still have it. Oh god. Oh, lots of lakes and ladies in India. <laughs> 750 years later. Good lord. So, the pate of Charlemagne. Don't eat that. That, that might be off by now. No, wait, that's the Blarney Stone. Yeah, no, you kiss the Blarney Stone. Yeah, I was told very clearly not to do so when I visited. Um, that's that's Ireland, though, yeah? The Blarney Stone? Or am I remembering this wrong? There was a stone that I was told very explicitly to not touch um, when I was 13, 14 in Ireland. Ireland? Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's something about if if girls touch it, they get pregnant or something. Jared, welcome back. Give a big old smooch. No. <laughs> this is one of his major UK current. No way. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's terrible. Of course it was. Of course it was. Um, completed descended from border reavers who used to wrestle cattle between Scotland and England, and so on the clan I'm descended from didn't pick a side. They stole from everyone! <laughs> Good, good.
Readjust. Nope, just gonna finish all exams. Not like because stealing from everyone. The new cultures allow for a pirate kingdom. I mean, Scots borders are stuck at British folk anyway, so that's good for me. <laughs> like permanently, which is sweet. Yeah, the one that you lose prestige when you bring loot back. You need to do like an embed IE for play through with someone who needs prestige anyway. Good, good. I'm a tank this time. Okay. Oh, emote only chat. All right. Use your pictures. Show me all your favorite in uh, your favorite emotes, guys. All the things. There's a pollen. I also need to go steal a smart person from England for some better items. Or rip you lot. No, Jazz, you should join in. You've got a tier 3 sub. Show everyone all the awesome Fiamma emotes they could get. If they subscribe rated. Yeah, you go. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, the pretty pictures. You get your ass over here. I'm not getting any heals at all. There we go. Thirty more seconds on that. <laughs> Nothing. Fifteen seconds. That's uh, 34. Yeah, we're well behind. Q's are going real slow, real, real slow now. Alright, emote only has been switched off. You may use your words again. Chat so much more fun. Good, I'm glad. That was my hope. Among other things, but that was one of my hopes for sure. Chat is pay to win. I'm gonna wake up chat next really. <laughs> Not pay to win.
miss it. Right. I didn't see a flip on that to say how many attempts I had. Um, this isn't weird at all. Prussians declared war on the Poles. Good. Wonderful. Nine, three, five. We got one, two, three, four, five left. Okay, perfect. It did track. It's fine. Everything is fine. I think I finally have come to the point where Pandaron is finally a choice. I'm sure it will be an org shortly for those who need it. Yay! Oh, that's so good. So generous of you, Koala. <laughs> oh, fuck. Wrong button. That's fine. You need this for good luck. I'm facing the wrong way. I think, I think, yep, there he is. There's Amnest. Do you ever make up words when you sing to the game songs too and they're chanting just seeing what they sound like when they're saying yes? Absolutely. Absolutely. I thought everyone did that. Um, Koala is by the Crown Chemical Peeps in Orgrima for those who need the Troll Rogue for the achievement. This is your alert. Sixteen. Jesus, yeah, they're going real slow. I'm probably gonna need some help doing this on the fi that final day after 1 a.m. Um, like some actual genuine, like making a full group every time to try to get through the last rounds. Oh, this is making me nervous. Uh, I do that. I just thought I was completely weird. No, we're all completely weird. It's fine. It's fine. Oh dear. Hmm. That one. Mm, 
I'll be able to help. Hopefully neither of us will need the runs, hopefully. Agreed. Hopefully. <clears throat> oh, I'm so glad I found your stream. I feel like I'm with my people. Yay! Oh, I'm so glad, Raven. You completely weird is how we roll. Correct. Correct. Threat. Uh, Dano, Oz, Ali, Little, Raven, Faden, and Zam. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. The healer is absolutely not healing. <laughs> there we go. I got a bubble. I'm just gonna do this and then I'll do I'll start up the next battle. Uh, after this one. Seven seventy seven. That is a lucky number. When you're looking at the slots. I mean obviously the mount didn't drop at seven hundred and seventy seven attempts. But maybe it's because I didn't have my earrings. No mount. again. Quite potentially. If you ever feel weird doing something, just remember someone discovered how cowed mil cow milk happens and there are people that like the Bastion aesthetic. <laughs> I like it. It's not my aesthetic, but I can recognize that it's, it's, you know, it's clean and shiny and shit. Another hydrate. Is that in retaliation for me saying, oh no, it was a different person, okay. Never mind. Am I a tank? I am a tank. Battle, oh shit, I forgot about that. Thank you. Oh, I'm so, like my brain is just not functioning. Can, you guys might have to help me have a brain. I think Bastion looks nice, but I don't really enjoy the quests there. Fair. Fair. I, I, like, violently disagree with their, um, 
the hypothesis of like you know them losing all their memories and stuff like that i like even when i was doing it the first time i was just so angry like it's unnecessary uh i was definitely with the uh with the purple people on that but uh i do think that bastion is is pretty but it's um it's just it's not my aesthetic uh, during a weekend I went through an area that was like wheat farm or something and vivid blue sky was awesome. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Adam World here. Weapon draft, obviously. Obviously. I did open the box, didn't I? I did, good. <laughs> oh, fuck. 9.38. Oh, wait, wrong button. Um. Let me choose what made me feel like I didn't want to join their side, because you're basically taking from them who they are. Yeah, not for me. Absolutely. Here's my issue with Bastion. The Archon let Andor and Punker in front of everyone. I uh, just like not being blinded no matter what direction I look. Fair. Fair. I mean, I don't have that option because I have two sons in my room, but that's fine. <laughs> Everything is awesome. What are you talking about? Oh, I have a headache now. Where are those redemptions? Let's do some. Imagine not open the box. Look, I've done it before. I've forgotten because I was just so keen to get through them all that I forgot to open the thing. I'm on my last pack of um, cold brew water tea. I think on Friday, I'm gonna have to go to Woolies and stock up again. I hope they're on special because they're fucking expensive. Um, question is very good for mining though. Has that going for it? Yeah, and herbalism too. Is that a box in your bag? No, it's a, um, no, no, there's not, not at all. There is the chocolate box, but it doesn't have the purple outline. I do see the chair stream and I think I'm going to go stretch my legs after the 50th run is done. I feel like that's a good plan, right? That's what it was. Makes sense. Oh, why did I loot? I don't need to. Box! No, it's gonna take forever. Ah, dear. 939 attempts. Almost done with the Alliance. And then we'll jump on over to Horde. These cold water infusions are on sale, at least. Good. Because they're the ones, I'm pretty sure those are the ones I've got. And last time they were on sale, I think I picked up eight packs. <laughs> Um, and I'm, I'm on the last one now, so... Ah, oh, thank you, Gita. Much appreciated. No nope, other direction. Go down the list. It's my last one. Last one! I 
I'm in tank spec. Ah, fuck. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. The round plastic antenna, yeah. With the silver lid. Um, the last pack I've got is watermelon, strawberry, and mint, and I think they're my favorite. I think they're my favorite. Let me confer with my sources. No. The tank declined. I think I know who that email is from. Thank you. I will I will let them know. I'll get on that as soon as I can. Uh where are we? Uh, what's about you have to switch again? That's what I was thinking. I was probably gonna have to fucking switch again, but I didn't, so that's fine. Yay! I'm just kind of waiting for my mana to tick up a little more. I don't need to heal anyone yet, so it's fine. But, uh, plus it's a bear tank, so I'm probably not going to have to do anything this whole time. I'll just move, though, so they think so they think I'm actually doing something. God, my heals aren't doing shit. My heals are doing literally nothing. Is it maybe because I don't have any int gear on? Oh, no, I do have int gear on. Just like looking at the tiny little heel bar, it's not much. Not that it matters. Bye. 940, alliance complete. Back to Horde. Back to Horde. Uh, so I finished up on Renard. Last round. So we're going on to Yalka. Uh, it's just holy pearly. Most of the healing comes from building spending rotation. Ah, okay. Fair enough. No, what are you? Mm. I'm in damage for this one. That's going to be unlikely. Probably going to end up in resto. Yeah. It tells the sound about I'm good. I'm so glad you like it. Yeah, I made a. I made a change. I found an option and was like, oh! So I, I made, a, made a change. <laughs> like that, yeah. Do you effectively need DPS and have like six buttons? Yeah. Look, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, where is it? Seven. Nobody died. That's what's important.
Can you buy drinks for these people so they can drink something for mana? Or is that not worth it? Nah, it's not worth it. It's alright. It, it, like... It's totally fine. It's not really that much of a problem. Is this gonna be the one? I fucking hope so. Uh... See the healing training simulator continues? It does! Thank you, Kaz. Much appreciated. Perfect, I'm already inhaling spec. This other one. There we go. Wait. I am in Mr. Okay, good. Add-ons I want. Oh no! I love my chains of leveling up doing this dungeon. It does feel pretty good, doesn't it? Forty-two out of fifty. Using the dungeon for leveling. How 
much do you actually get? Like on a level 50 tune? How much XP are we getting? thousand six hundred. That's not too bad. Might get a level out of it. Not quite though, I don't think. Uh, okay, that can go there. And out we hop! Ish. Evening, how are you doing today? Uh, a little bit zonked, honestly, don't know. A little bit zonked, but doing okay otherwise. How are you? 5% every five minutes. It's not bad at all. tank. Shit. Just. Mm, just saying stuff and be like, ah, perfect. <laughs> perfect. Not good. Doing good things. Walk. Yay! Oh, that's good. That's good. Excuse me, Fry, where the hell are you going? <laughs> uh, what is that add-on that shows the different tanking sequences? Tanking sequences. Sorry, I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, do you mean GSE? Do you mean this one? That's gnome sequencer enhanced. Gnome as in, like, the, the race. Gnomes. Like, mecha gnome. That, yep, gnome sequencer enhanced. Uh, GSE, it, um, you have to upload, you can, you can plug in more complicated macros, basically. Um, yeah. Okay. Alright, next one. Got it, fantastic. Welcome on in, by the way. Welcome to chat. Thirteen point one seven, huh? Barely any for a repeat. Yeah. Well, no, because it's the bonus, the big chunk bonus for doing it first time, right? Uh, like, first time for the day. At least I thought it would be. Just testing if you spam at two level. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha.
All right, let's go. How many teams left to go today? Uh, six. Five after this one. Oh, I'm looking forward to being done, that's for sure. And <laughs> we can move on. Move on. 7.39 out of 51. Huh? Just see how much fresh gets exactly. Ah, gotcha. Keeping record of how much understood. Start all over again tomorrow. Correct. Grind is all time real. Oh fuck yeah. Definitely getting headachy and sleepy. Over 5% a run. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. loud. Uh, is there anything new for the V-Day event this year? No. Doesn't look like it. Ah, oh, signing in on my TikTok. I forgot about it. Says Legion! <laughs> Brilliant. Wonderful. Nothing new, Make, but uh, if you're missing anything from prior years, take it as an opportunity to catch up. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. <sighs> also, you know, getting a goddamn mount. Come on, drop it. Drop it. It's like talking to a naughty puppo. Drop it. One day. One day. doing vlogging out. Good. God, fucking headache. Oh, this is fine. 
Do you recommend a tank or healer I should try for my ult? I'm at a loss on the decision-making progress. What's fun? Uh, I Look, I have fun with a few different things, um, but most of them I play with gnome sequencer enhanced macros, so I'm probably not the best person to ask about fun. Um, but I would absolutely go for something that can do all three roles if you want fast cues and shit like that. Yeah, there you go. Jack, Jack's actually got a functional brain today, so uh, he can help. <laughs> Well, I assume. Wait, am I on her? Remaster. Shit. Oh, there's a bear anyway. It's fine. Oh no wait, that's never never mind. Whoops, okay. Ugh, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. everything's fine, it's fine. Damn. Hmm, function of rain is gonna be fine taking stress law. These groups assume you know what you're doing. Yeah, look. They do. You are not wrong there. I'm just like having to shop and change specs and all that kind of stuff is is making my head kind of spin a little bit, I think. Max, I asked you to please stop. Please stop. I've already asked you to stop prior and you were here for it, so just, yeah. These tunes bags are full of crap. Yeah. Yeah, I always end up going back to it. I wanted to mix it up and try Beefy Boy just to know if I should try, say, like, Brewmaster. Ooh. Hmm, I wonder. I mean, look, give it a go. Worst case, you switch back to DPS, right? Worst case. Zam, Insta, Faden, Oz, Dunno, Loza, Great, Fairy, and Make. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. And the tank, so I should probably go over here. Is all you're right though. Well, that's that's the best thing is that you can just kind of cycle through if you've got a if you've got a class that's DPS but it has a tank or healer spec. Give it a try. You know, give it a go. See what you think. 
Uh, Dream Master is not really a beefy, I would say, depending on your favorite class spec. Uh, Dream Master still use staves. I always like monk stuff, fighting animations. They are pretty cool. Fire gives something fast like Demon Hunter or Pally to here go. Uh, is there anyone with a dwarf hunter that wants to stand still for like two minutes? Ah, <sighs> the call of love is in the air. Two more attempts for today to go. Frost goes shaman, fire mage my favorite respect hands down. Yeah, Demon Hunter and Pally. Masters do do sta do you staves? Arcane would be priest holy. Uh, okay. Two more to go. Two more to go. I'm on a DK, of course I'm in tanks back. Good morning, Phoenix. How are you going? I love Tomcat on even says when I forget I open a box. Really? Oh, that's awesome. I didn't realize I did that bit because I always it's the first thing I do. <laughs> How's it going so far today? Less hiccups than yesterday. Yeah, definitely fewer. Definitely fewer, uh, fewer hiccups. Uh, but it's still taking a while. It started off really, really quick to the point that I actually had to wait for five minutes before I could start my second round of horde tunes, but it has slowed down like drastically. Um, still getting in, I'm hoping we'll get in under the three hour mark though. Um, basically I'm a little afraid that on that 15th day, I've only got between 1 and 4 a.m. to get everything done, to get 50 rounds done. So if there aren't enough people around to get like instant cues, I might not get to finish them and I might not get to get my last attempts in. So I'm, yeah, I'm a little frightened um, because I know that there are also not going to be as many people around at that time. Um, so yeah, even whether I'm a healer or a tank, I'll, there still might not be enough DPS around either. So yeah, I'm just, I'm a little nervous. Hopefully I won't need that last 15th day, but if I do, I want to make sure I can get all 50 done. I don't want to end up on, you know, 1,573 attempts. That's a very shit number. Um, <laughs> I want a nice clean number. Like 950. Last one. Ah, uh, Pally also has the same combust feeling with wings, where you pop it, it feels like a big damage CD. I'm okay, how are you? Yeah, tired and headachey, but doing all right. Doing all right. Uh, I hear Prop Pally is like the bee's knees when walking fortress. A little bit squishy, but how to play it right. It's kind of all tanks except bear. Mm. You got this? I hope so. Oh, that's potential. I feel like everything is viable in that spec. Yep. Click to activate, didn't I? I'm flying, you bastards.
and back we go. Doesn't matter like if you change. Okay, noted. Noted. Do all the things, cause Pally. So I'm just gonna be a branch of their holy tree. Pity I'm the wrong religion. Oh no! Just, just don't chuck it in the fireplace, Jess. That's a bit cruel. Oh man, my head hurts. Ah, oh, people in in instance chat saying hello. They're definitely not on their fiftieth tune. <laughs> I can tell. It's extra one point four piety a month. What for putting it in the fireplace? Nope. However, we're gonna we're gonna go trigger a bunch of those now. Now that I'm done. Uh never been the right religion. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So you're gonna convert, are you? Because someone gave you a stick. I sent you my stick. Please respond. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hilarious. Fuck no, gonna be Catholic at this point. All right. Um. Uh. Let us scroll through the hoardies first. See if anyone has twenty cards, except for Fear. That she doesn't count at this point. Zarala. Zarala is the only one with twenty, so we're gonna go with her first. And while we're here. the fuck did I save this document? Um, there it is. Beautiful. Let's go buy the dinner suit box. Mm, convert them to Catholic, then it's your holy tree. <laughs> we could Catholic steal all the post money and his hat. Part two of that plan is important, but mm -hmm. Yep, what with 20 cards? Um, I've got the 20 love tokens and I can purchase a dinner suit box for that, which I don't already have. So yeah, I'm going through and we're ticking some things off. Uh, Cause the rest of stream, uh, we are going to clear the list of ATT uh, lovers in the air. There we go. Okay, so I think I have to go to Orgrimma for this. Still, his hat. Only worked that way. Worked that way, IRL. You've seen the prestige gains from that hat. Oh dear. Oh dear. So what I have left to purchase from Lovers in the Air is the with list gone. Dinner suit box, the lovely dress box, which I'm gonna get today as well, the love boat, the hearthstone, uh, and the sturdy love fool. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do is buy those boxes with the transmog in them because I've got more than enough. Preparations have been made. I don't care. 
Nazgrim will tell you of the grim fate. Yeah. Here we go. So we want the dinner suit box. Dinner suit box. Glad I could help. Wait. Oh, it doesn't contain all of them? Oh, you bastards. One of three and then one of four lovely dresses. Okay, I see. I see. Cool. So we got the blue dinner suit. That's one off the list. You bastards. It's fine. I'm just going to keep cycling through all my tunes when they hit 20 and just buy. Like, I'm just... Look, look, look at this. Look at this add-on. This poor thing is broken. The poor thing. Ah, uh, no, go away. Alright, so that's Zarala. Then we're going to switch to Anya. Uh, so I'm going to send back to Garrison. Mm, 20 cards. Uh, the 20, yeah, so the 20 love tokens, which is the little, like, the icon is a card. Uh, it's a pink card. Um, yeah, so you buy a dinner suit box, and then you get a thing where you can buy a lovely dress box for 20, the love boat's 270, the hearthstone's 150, and the sturdy level's 100. Yes, that's... Yep. Uh, good. Um, an issue fixed members of the Duchy's stupid rebellion is trying its best. I just I thought you'd get because with the um with the uh, lunar festival one you bought a thing and you opened it up and it had all these recipes in it. So I was like, what? Like what? You only get one. What if I get duplicates? You bastards! I will be very unhappy. Very unhappy. Desco duplicates. Shush. Shh. All right. Where is the shit in Stormwind? Is it in the trade district? What is doing the most time walking XP right? Uh. You mean the chromie time, like leveling through chromie time, it's the fastest? Uh, yeah, as far as I'm aware, yes. Cata time walking is active, forgot about that. Yes, cata time walking is active, yes. Jet pep just falls room into a hybrid culture. Uh, so cata time walking is better. No, cata time walking is just available now in terms of dungeon time walking. If you're talking about chromie time, you're like talking to chromie and going and leveling through a, an expansion, the most efficient is what? Yes. Um. Trade district in front of the rank. Perfect. Thank you, Nutty. Shenanigans the papers you will have now. Goodness gracious me. <clears throat> oh, actually, turning in that quest will probably give me more as well, won't it? Oh, no. Just, oh, it gives experience, though. Oh, I didn't turn ATT on. Be careful out there. I should do that. Uh, before I do this so that I get the pretty noises. Um, Future Top is probably now the best time working for dungeons. Uh... Hi, Rumor. Just a heads up. Um, I'm not sure if it's maybe a like a lost in translation thing or something like that, but um, like addressing someone as beauty the very first time you speak to them is not really appropriate in this day and age, thankfully. So um, yeah. Hello, welcome on in. But just um, yeah. Uh, all right. I think I'm gonna go for the this four. Why does it say one out of five then? Oh, because the black dress does something else? Um, let's... I've got a purple dress. Wonderful. Yay! Happy brain juice noises! On to the next one. Ah, uh, just facing off dungeon length though. Yeah, fair. Fair. Ah, uh, next tune. Oh no, shit! I needed to check if another tune actually had 20. Fuck! Go back in. Um, are you from- Are you asking where I'm from, Roma? I'm from Australia. It says down underneath in the About Me stuff. All the details. So, 
Man, this game is imploded. I have the biggest AI controlled kit I've ever seen at this point. Oh wow. Oh wow. Um Right, listen, eh? Let's jump onto Alyssa and see what we can get from her. <laughs> Good. Good. Oh, I didn't do the chest room after I'd finished the 50 runs. Uh, right, okay, off we go. With my 20 cards to go and buy another box of clothing. Very interesting accent. Ah, thank you. Yeah, I so I'm Australian, but my father is from England, uh, and when he was raising me, had a very thick, I mean, he's still got like a very, like to, to Australians, it's a very distinctive English accent, but to English folk, it's not, it's very like, yeah. But uh, yeah, so when he was, when he was raising me and teaching me how to speak, um, you learn to talk by imitating what people say to you, like making it sound like they sound. Uh, so a lot of my words sound like what he sounds like, like an Englishman. So yeah, that's kind of a, a blended accent of a few different bits and pieces. I don't mind it myself. Like, I hate the sound of my own voice, like I think a lot of people do. Uh, listening to myself back on recordings and stuff is just shudder. But, um, look, it could be worse. It could be worse. Alright, uh, um, so, oh, and I forgot to turn it on again. Hello, X. How are you going today? Welcome back. Alrighty. We're at 40% and 33. Let's go with the dinner suit box then. Purple or red? Purple! Amazing. Do I have another one that has 20 cards that isn't fair? No, I don't. That's everyone who has 20 cards. Okay, that's fine. Um. I'm in a half back, and we're going to start doing some dailies rounds. Because I have a couple of tunes I need to do dailies on. I'm going to start on Alexia. Do you guys know the best place to farm lovely charms? Hello, Sunbad. Doing well, thank you. How are you? Hope you are well. We recently got awesome news earlier, been electric all day. Fantastic. Good to hear. Farming in Valley of Trials for the charms. Valley of Trials? What are you doing in the Valley of Trials? Let's 
get theme boards for fast respawn video, watch go there with level 10 XP lock mage and just arcane exploit everything. How do you send that to your how do you send them to your other characters though to do the dailies and shit? Also, I can't do that because I don't have any space for level 10, but you know. Give it a chance to brace it. Put them in your bank. Right, you can't mail them, but you can stick them in. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, chromie time. Not chromie time. Deaths of chromie. Was how I did it last night. On a tune that isn't XP locked at level 10. Have you taken your main into Shadowlands yet? Are you just doing garrison stuff? No, yeah, I've got four level 60s. I just, I just park them there because it's quick to log in, quick to log out, and it's got my bank, I've got my auction house mount, I've got, like, everything's in really close vicinity to everything. No having to run around or anything like that, so, yeah. Just a super convenient place to park them. Yo, time is money, friend. Is it blowing purple aura around them all over Orgrimmar? Air analyzer. Okay. Purple aura. And honor. Aura. Strength and honor. Look dark. What do you need? Yeah. I'm going loopy. Fair. Totally fair. That is the thing that happens. Oh, okay, they're not actually. Okay. Cool. Blood and thunder. How you doing, man? Okay. What up? Keep it real. Be good. Disguised as a CPS package runner. Go, go, go. Oh no. Hello, do man. Yeah, I'm doing all right. Uh, we've done our 50 attempts. And uh, I'm now working on clearing out my, all the things. Um, Cause there are a few collectibles that I don't have from the, uh, from the event. So I'm trying to get those finished off. How are you today? Very cool. I'm good. I'm so pleased to hear that, Ju. That's wonderful news. <laughs> Lashes feel funny when they're like long enough to tickle just under your eyebrows. It's fine. I'm just silly as all. Also a little delirious. Hey, how you doing? Have a good one. So you've got to do the, uh, you have to finish the introductory quests to be able to do the dailies, but I'm pretty sure you only ever have to do these introductory quests once before you can do the dailies. And then you can do the dailies every year if you, if you need to. But that's not where, what we're about, is it? Y'all, we're, we're all about getting everything done this year. Year of the event. Clock this shit. Mm, uh, too bad you couldn't do the dailies in preparation. Ah, uh, what do you mean, Nano? Ah, uh, reading up on where head seems like a druid would be a good way to farm that. Yeah, I've got, um, well, I'm going to be doing it across three characters. Uh, I've got my mage, I've, obviously I was doing it on fear last night, and I got 95 
charms in a 15 minute run with Krumi. Um, and then I've got my Druid and Rogue to try today. Like get the quest done or characters, time could be for characters. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, nah. That's all right. I mean, it is, it's all part of the special event. So it makes sense that it's not available until then. It makes sense. Why do it on multiple characters? Uh, because doing the dailies, um, I, I don't want to. I don't want to have to grind it all the way up. It's it's a lot faster to do the dailies and get thirty three tokens than it is to farm thirty three tokens worth of um, uh, bracelets. It's much faster. At least for me, it was. Glory. And then I can also rely on them getting the daily cards from the, uh, what's it, from the dungeon runs as well. I can take 70 off the table because I'm getting a minimum of five every day. Yo! Mm. Where did you run that gave 95? That's crazy. Uh, Deaths of Gromi in the Emerald Dragon Shrine. You just run around in circles, killing stuff. What's up? Keep it real. Be good. Cool. So that's done. Go switch to the dailies. Time is money, friend. Aha, hey, how you doing? Time is money, friend. Many lucky dudes, you like? Mm, so gives you three tokens, not charms, correct? Yeah. You do a full set of dailies, you get 33 love tokens. So, so. Okay, we could do the ton. Because it does Chromie Rep 2, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, the, keep in mind the 95 was with a full research tree for Chromie. Um, so if your if yours is lower than full, then it might not be as fast. I also had the portal to be able to go straight to, to the Emerald Dragon Shrine because of the research tree and everything. So yeah, if you haven't done it, um, it might take a little bit longer. Looks <sighs> very not a good idea. It will be easy on your mage to do the dailies with the bracelets. Going to all portal silver and orb to undersea invector. Yeah. Yeah, which is what I'm doing here, but that's why, um, like, Fia is going to be going after the love boat with this 270 tokens. My dro my druid and my uh, rogue are going after the 150 and 100. So, like, Alexia, I only have to do one set of dailies on her and then just wait for all the dungeons to tick up until I've hit 100. Um, so, yeah, it'll, uh, I've got it planned out. Got it planned out. Um, Catch also has the cold brew tea for eight dollars for three cans back. Ooh, nice! I have to have a look at that. Thank you, Gita, for letting me know. So everybody tells you good path for those. Just a bit of flesh from Luxembourg. Hey, nurse. Thank you. See, you. just a good evening, Saram. What there is a research tree for Chromie in the depths of Chromie. Yes, it was a um, a very specific uh, like set of um. It was a... Sarum! 
Aw, thank you for the sub. Money, thanks. Much appreciate. Uh, yeah, Deaths of Chromie is a, it's an inst like an instance, an individual scenario thing. Yeah. Not talking, about, not talking about Chromie time, not talking about leveling. I'm talking about Deaths of Chromie, which is why I keep using the the whole name. Uh, Ali, Spam, Oz, Thor, Little and Dunno, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. And it's boss time. Um... Chastity belts. Came back to WoW since I've been in Shadowlands. I'm already lost enough. Google or search on WoWhead for deaths of Chromie. Um, it's a whole... I can't remember which fucking expansion it was from. It's it's old. Um, which It drops you down to 47, so that must mean... Maybe Legion? I... Fuck, I don't remember. It's old. It's it's old. <laughs> um, but it, the idea is that it actually scales you down to to the level of the, the stuff. So um, it helps with the whole having to have it be like green, yellow, or red um, leveled mobs. You know, they have to be of an appropriate level to be able to get the charms. You can't just go kill things that are 50 levels below you. Um, yeah. Mm. I'll do that. Awesome. Yeah. It's, uh, look, I don't remember a whole lot about it, um, but it's useful for this. Region, BFA. Oh, I didn't play it all during BFA. Damn, was it actually during BFA? I don't, it couldn't have been. Holy shit. It was that recent. Good lord. Fuck. There you go. But yeah, there's a whole set of stuff. Um, a whole set of stuff from that. Collectibles and shit. I started BFA pre-patch, so I guess technically Legion, yeah. It was like 8 or yeah, it must have been pre-patch. Everything in Legion been playing since Vanilla Alpha. There you go. Well, if it was during Legion, then uh, with the like the BFA pre-patch, then that would explainerate it. Hmm. I really dove into this game after getting the pre-patch, but yeah. I remember bashing my head against Chromie until it was done, uh, and then I never actually selected the final, um... I never selected the final tier of her research tree, which I thought was really funny. Yes. Maybe my back's just really warm. Oh wow, I am really warm. Okay, I need to turn that on, I think. I thought, like, because these are LEDs, they're supposed to stay cold, right? But I felt like something was burning on my back, like something was really hot. So I was like, wait, it can't be the lights, can it? And it shouldn't have been, and it's not. They are they are still cold, they're LEDs, so they're fine. But, um, yeah, it was a, it was an unpleasant oh shit moment there. But I was setting fire to my chair. But no, I'm just overheating. Good, wonderful. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. Wonderful! Thank you very much, Scorpion. I hope you enjoy your time with us. The good rest of the stream will do. Will do.
<clears throat> I don't know what to do right now. What an odd feeling. Is it like you're overwhelmed with too many choices, Yori, or you've run out of stuff on your to-do list? Like, what's the what's the go? Talk me through it. how close I am on those damn cloud serpents. They're so large. <laughs> so large. Oh, and now I'm green. Right, okay. So now I have to do the thing. So I'm going to head to Deaths of Chromie. I need to write down all the things I want to do that are bouncing around my head. I need to set up my Instagram template and schedule things and edit some photos and upload those. Then lovely charm farm. Ice Crown Lawmaster, finish level tune. Rango Brewer. Yeah, I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Um, have you tried Asana or a similar to-do list kind of app to just kind of brain dump onto the onto the screen? Hail and well met, champion. Where you lead. Okay, Chromie is not an available quest here. You, Azeroth will surely fall. The feeling too? Mm, yeah, I'm very familiar with the feeling. I've got so many things on my to-do list that, like, I've got stuff on my to-do list that is scheduled. Like, I have to do it regularly, I have to do it every so often, and it comes up on the days that I'm supposed to do it and all that kind of stuff. But then I have a whole bunch of stuff that doesn't have a due date, and it just never gets done because I have too much stuff to do. So it's, but it is good to have somewhere where I have got all that brain dumped so I don't forget that it needs to be done. If I happen to have a spare 20 minutes somewhere and being like, oh, that's right, you know. Good evening, Kay. Hello, how are you? What is the spare time you speak of? Yeah, right. I, I really wish I could, like, afford an assistant or something. Someone I could just teach what I do and then just let go of a couple of things. It'd make me feel a lot better. That's all right. Hmm. Should I have a look, actually? Yeah, Asana. A-S-A-N-A -A -A is what I recommend. It's what I've been using for a couple of years now. And it really, truly has improved, like, my shit. Hmm. 
Show every Wednesday. Hagrid the rocket attempts done for the day. Nine hundred and fifty. Nine hundred and fifty. Not too bad. Full time first, then assistant. I would really, really like that. Um, although I do. This is not something that's covered by an NDA. It's not something that I'm not allowed to tell you. It's something that I don't want to tell you because I'm afraid of it. My quest log is full. Piss off. I'm afraid of it not, like, if I if I do that and then everyone gets, like, excited and stuff and then nothing comes of it, you know? So it's like, you know, yeah. So I've, I've been kind of trying to keep my mouth shut uh, because... Yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to, like, jinx it or whatever. But I have an opportunity that I am working on actively. Like, I'm, I'm actively working on it. Uh, that... Look, it might be able to help with a couple things. I'm not really sure. I, I'm actually not sure. But, um... I won't know until it pans out. Like, I, I genuinely won't know until it pans out. So, uh... Yeah, that would be nice. It's so nice Alright, let's, um... I always have time for you. Let's do this. Onto your helmet. We're traveling through time! I fucking love Krumi, she's adorable. Oh, thanks for for tomorrow then. Thank you, Kay. I appreciate it. Oh, they really need to up the quest log. Crap, it pees me off constantly. I need to actually finish off some of the fucking quests I have in my log. I think. Alright, so... To any Hello. Ambassador. From pain, we draw strength. And we have Komi. Am, am I in trouble? Yes. Yes, you are. Return to the present. Don't want to return to the present. Um... Ready when you are. All right, let's see here. I think we're at the right time, give or take a minute. Am I dead yet? Oh, good. There I am over there. Hi, me. Oh, oh, hi. Fuck. Look I have to actually do all this. <laughs> That's fine. So this is Death Sacrome. Basically, she's murdered or assassinated in a bunch of different timelines, and we have to go save her. See, look. <clears throat> often pick up quests because I want to do it and not forget, but then I will feel like doing daily quest grinds. I have to delete a load. Yeah. Yeah. I always have time for you. It's like meeting again Here for the we first go. time. Again. Maybe we should have a separate quest log, maybe? Ooh, that's an interesting concept. Greetings. Can I just go to the green dragon train, please? No. Okay. This world is full of wonder. Together we will disturbances. I am honored. Typical Thank you, Lord Atharius. The balance we'll take must a look. be maintained. And we'll let undead attacks at the ruby is dragon shrine. Strange? We'll take a look. Let me think. Thanks, Allie. Oh, I did see that Petrol bear ready today. Toy drop from Love Rocket Vent. Uh, Hellfire Don't Infernal Core made up for after 77 uh, attempts. Uh, nice. Pretty sure he was headed to uh, does she live at the end of it? Shrine. I'm pretty sure, yeah. You're supposed to like save her in all the different things in it, and then and then you win. It's... Oh good, the first one comes from Emerald, so I can just uh Oh no, hang on. Never mind. Ah, using your Did it Eric West quantities? Yeah. Look up the prediction, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have that. I forgot about that. Thank you for reminding me. I always have time for you. Why, hello? Oh, right. I'm Chrome.
counterporting us to a point four hours before the attack happens. That'll give us plenty of time to untangle this mess. Huh. That's weird. Something's blocking me from accessing that particular moment. No worries. Four hours was probably too early anyways. Let's try one hour. Now I'm starting to get worried. Whoever orchestrated this attack really did their homework. They found a way to block my chrono ports. Let's give this one last try. Ah, <sighs> damn. Wait. Why is it open again? Uh, what the fuck? Why did that open again? Or is that distributing points? Stop right there. No, it should be okay. We should be fine. All right. There, that did it. We are now at a time fifteen minutes before my death. That probably won't be enough. Let's go speed. I think speed is enough. The best I can do for, for now. now. Let's go. Okay, so I don't have the. I don't have the port, so I have to fly down there. But that's okay. We'll get there. Maybe. I don't know. Sure results. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Because I saw it and I was like, wait, why is the timer going again? I was, I was very confused. Very confused. Oh, the chrome is a little baby bronze dragon. Ah, uh, Necrolord thing's really good for this. I had one before I got in here. It'll make it easier to figure out how many I get. Shit, yeah, by the time you get back to the start, this is the start of the loop, it's everything's respawned. Okay, we're gonna summer stuff. You're right. It's great to just brain dump somewhere. Yep. And you can like, you can set like due dates for them if you want to get like, uh, if you want to get you know tricky with it. Um, but also setting due dates will help you sort them by like what's a higher priority, what's a lower priority. Uh, and then if you have stream stuff, because you are not alone in the stream, you have a team that you stream with. Um, you can invite. Jared, using his email address, and then if you brain dump all the stream related tasks, you can assign them to him. You're both collaborators, so you can both see them, but they'll be in his my tasks list. So he'll know what you want him to work on. I may have done that with some of like the household stuff with Jas. Like we have our own responsibilities and shit, and they're all in there with our own like bits and bobs. Uh, Asana is basically a uh, like a digital to-do list. It's designed for businesses. It's designed for teams in a workplace, like a department, so that your manager can input like a project. It's designed for project management. You put a project in and then you put all the tasks with that project. Like if there's a report that needs to be generated once a week and you need this particular task to be done, but that's a one-off. And then you can delegate it out to your team members. 
so that each t- so that you can see not just what they're doing and what they're up to and how ahead or behind they might be on their work and who you could also see their workload to see like oh you have this one thing that's come up shit someone needs to handle that oh such and such has done their tasks for the day they're going to be able to do that rather than kind of asking around and being like oh you know because you know you there's always going to be a few team members who are like yeah you know i'll handle it it'll be fine when they're actually drowning so it helps the manager be able to manage their team better or manage your own fucking shit if you don't have a team like me but yeah it is honestly it has just dramatically changed my life i i have like daily to do's in there um just so i can see what i need to get done each day um and ticking things off it makes me feel accomplished even if i'm having like a really shocking mental health day the fact that i can tick off a couple things like have checked my emails it's it's yeah it feels good you might have a chat to me about it so you can use it on your phone as well as desktop yep i've got it on my phone too So, you know, while I'm heating up my lunch and standing in the kitchen, I can pull open my phone and see what I have left to do for the day. So I'm like, okay, what can I do while I'm eating? Uh, you know, what's what's the highest priority for the rest of the day? Is there anything that I'm not going to be able to get done before stream is supposed to start? Would you look at the time? Only about 10 minutes left. This is very handy. Yeah, and if I do ever get people to actually assist me with stream related shit then it'll be really handy because I can all I need to do is invite them by email to Asana to that particular because I've got um like I've got like housework and cleaning and then I've got stream stuff and then I've got my work tasks like my actual my day job stuff um all that sort of stuff it's all in there uh so what I can do is just invite them to the project that is stream and so they'll be able to see the stuff I need to do just with streaming but I can't afford to pay anybody, and, um, like, yeah. <laughs> you know, people deserve to be paid for shit. So there's that. That sounds great. It, honestly, it, it is. Like, would definitely have a look at checking it out if you're someone who's totally disorganized. Look, it's not going to work for everybody because everyone's brains function just a little bit differently. Um, and some people might need less specificity on their tasks, some people might need more, there might be features or whatever that aren't available on Asana that are with a different program. Um, you're kind of, you know, it depends on your own individual tastes, but uh, if you are looking for some way to kind of brain dump into a to-do list of some kind, Asana might be a good place to start, and then you can figure out what you don't like about it or what you do like about it and find something that suits your needs better. But yeah, it's a good place to start. So much death, indeed. I need the lovely charms. Um, hello, Hafa. Uh, yes? Who else would it be streaming on the channel called Fiyama? I'm very confused. I also feel like maybe this is like a, a an alt account of somebody. I'm not sure. Uh, I think we'll help to structure my life. I have the chronic fatigue uh, slash pain. I also forget things get depressed a lot. So I think that hopefully if I use something like this, it'll make me feel like I'm not wasting my time. It's, yeah, it has definitely helped me prioritize and like make efficient use of my time and stuff. Especially like, you know, it's like, oh, I have half an hour before stream. Or before I have to start getting ready for stream, let's have a skim down my task list and see if there's anything that I can do in half an hour. Is there any task that I know will take me 30 minutes or less? Rather than starting something and then having to stop halfway through because, oh shit, my get ready alarm is going off. Just passing through, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I, have, I have a couple of uh, old regulars like from, I'm talking like four or five years ago now, who used to greet me like that. Um, so I was kind of confused when it said first time chat. And then I'm like, I'm, Sorry. yeah. But I hope you're having a nice day. I hope you're having a wonderful day and enjoying the time flipping through Twitch.
So I can see if there's anything I can do while cooking or something. Thank you so much. Also, be very minute. You're very welcome. I influenced you. Because I'm an influencer. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, I cannot breathe today. What is going on? Six minutes to go in this run. Hi, the Sunwell. Ah, oh, Captain, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Hope you're having a lovely uh, day, evening, whatever it happens to be for you. Much appreciated. <clears throat> Something else that's on my list is uh, sorting out a pattern for all the names of January's subs and seeing if it's actually possible. I did the download, like I got the I got the screenshots and I got the stuff, but um, yeah. Just have to see if it's actually possible to get everything onto a banner. Josh. The sub. Ah! Congratulations, Rug. Wonderful news. Hello, hello. For the Alliance! <laughs> Four minutes to go. Three minutes forty. Away. What are we getting into? Um, farming up some lovely charms to make some bracelets for the dailies. On um, on the rogue. I'm purposely not looking. I want to see how many I've got, like, at the end. Uh, two minutes 40 to go. Very nice. Yeah, there's no horde command yet. Someone has to redeem it. So, Friday's my birthday, and we have a tradition in my family where if it's your birthday, you get to have, you get to pick dinner, whatever you want. You get to pick what's, what's for dinner. Uh, so, anyone got any ideas? Good. Best friend, equals best faction. Family does the same thing, love it. Here, you know. <laughs> Lobster. Okay, look, I have to be able to afford it. Okay. <laughs> 
Like lobster is tasty and all, but it is not as tasty as it is expensive, in my opinion. Especially not when it like, not not if I cooked it myself, and not if it came from like Uber Eats and was like traveled, you know. It's great in a restaurant, but it's often not as tasty as it as the price tag. Um, sushi, sushi. We do sushi. Uh, on the Saturday, we're going out for dinner and I'm having Italian. So, no pizza or pasta. Because I don't want to like double up, but sushi's an idea. Yeah, I'm Charles, my mother's pick. Nice. Yeah, I have to, so it needs to be able to be ordered to, to here. Um,. I also feel like Yamcha is a lot better when you've got multiple people to like not just two people. Because that way you get to order more stuff, like more of the different dishes and stuff, because you're sharing everything. Yamcha is definitely like a, a mass meal. In my opinion. Obviously, you know, each their own and all that. Time has run out. Uh steak. Ah, uh, we have steak often. Like... Crab. Um, and then the side doors are on. Oh, the lion's rug. Actually asked mum to make her spag bob with cheese sauce. Yes! Yeah, no, definitely not shark fin soup. Never. Absolutely not. Um, birthday's two days after! There you go! There you go. Ah, uh, like a nice Italian meal, like chicken parmesan. On my own birthday, nice. Mum makes homemade lemon chicken. Ooh, yum. Turn tradition my birthday. I disagree, yum tries. Leftovers for days. Fair, fair. I never felt that it kept well, but I mean, maybe I'm just getting the yum try at the wrong places. Doors change the hood set, I probably should have for the hood. Hi, can I please ask you where I can find the PvP vendor? Which one, Des? There's so many of them. There are so many different PvP vendors. There are some in your capital city, being that either Orgrimmar or Stormwind. Um, there are some out in Pandaland, out in, uh, in the, there's a, all the way over the side. Like, is, it's not Dread Wastes, is it? No, it's the other one. I don't know, but it's all the way over the side. Um, uh, there are PvP vendors in almost every capital city that we've had for each expansion, uh, because they sell the stuff specific to, like, that season kind of thing. Um, yeah, there there are there are hundreds of them. Um, so I'd probably need more specifics than that, unfortunately. Tell long steps, that's the one I was looking for. Thank you, Koala. You shut up with the horde regardless if Italian pasta carbonara is a main Savoyona's dessert. Yum. Yum. The the Italian place we're going to um, has a gelato shop kinda close by. So we're gonna we're gonna skedaddle for dessert, I think. Uh, right, Fairy, Aurelia, Dew, Dunno, Ali, Thor, Max, Draco, uh, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Fuck yes, gelato. Yeah, and it's like a traditional Italian gelato place. Like, all the names of all the different flavors are in Italian, and like, it's like a proper deal. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. They do also have molten Nutella that they can pour over anything for you, so that's nice. That's nice. Really nice gelato place I went to in West End. Oh, yeah? Nice. My husband always gets me to make beef strog enough from the Women's Weekly Cookbook. Love that. Beef strog is so tasty. I love doing it in the uh, in the slow cooker as well because I don't have to think. I can just dump everything in the bo in the bucket and just leave it. Uh, all right. Assists from boofing. So much butter in it. Yeah, it's probably why it's so tasty. All the fat, the salt. Oh. Specialized. Why is this? What does it look like? It looks like stuff. It does look like stuff. Um, that's my Bitfest rewards. Here, have this. Thank you. Yeah, that's all the stuff from Bitfest. You remember we did the... I'm gonna pillage the box of stuff. No, you're not. It's giveaways. I'm gonna look at the giveaways from the box of oh, stuff. Oh, okay, <laughs> Jesus, the plate's over this side. I don't stab you it. <laughs> you gotta come around this side and put them on the plate. Oh, like, God. Yeah, just careful with your dirty hands on the white hat that needs to be sent to somebody. And it's, yeah, preferably don't touch stuff that isn't wrapped in plastic, just because I don't want to be gross and... What's under the blanket? Uh, it's not a blanket, it's a towel, uh, and towel? it's a bathrobe oh. to go with the slippers. Cool. Yeah, 
There's a reason I haven't picked stuff up and shown it on stream, just because I don't want to get things dirty or like, ah, 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 contaminated. It's a drink. <laughs> I'm not going to drink it. It's a sugary liquid. No. Yeah. Let's go zoomy. Ah, uh, this was phenomenal. Oh, awesome. Ah, uh, you're welcome, Des. Uh, oh, daughter's husband is Oh dear, that's not good. Definitely not good. All right, uh, we'll collect this. I'll jump back in there, and we'll go back to the game. So make sure you place your units, friends. Need the helps. Hundred and one. We got a hundred and one in a fifteen minute run. That's not bad at all. That was faster than Fia got them. That was a lot easier than doing it on Fia as well, actually. Um. Hmm. Mm, hello, Barry. How are you, my dear? Welcome back. So, what are we farming? Lovers in the air collectibles. Uh, and for that, I need tokens. For that, I need tokens. I think if I need to farm extras, I might actually do them on Alexia. Welcome back, Raven. Mm. How did your dentistry go, Berry? I hope you're doing okay. My surgeon appointments tomorrow. I'm uh, nervous, but also looking forward to it. Get to find out how my jaw is healing. Mm. Pain free chill after. Awesome. So good to hear. <clears throat> All the hydrates done. Um, <clears throat> did this tomorrow. Thankfully, just a cleaning. Yeah, mine's a mine's a meeting with um. Uh, my maxillofacial surgeon. So technically not actually a dental appointment, but I have my CT scan on Monday. And so he's going to look at the CT scan and then determine if my jaw is ready to handle an implant. Yo, have a good one. So that'll be fun. If it is ready, it means I'll get to book in my surgery date. <clears throat> How mad do you think monk mains are that their auto hall mount got nerfed because Blizzard but when low in the store. How did their auto hall mount get nerfed? I don't understand. Yes. Keep their weapons sharp. No one low mount high resolution. The auto home mount monks. Yeah, but the auto home mount for monks was also like what five years ago, so it's probably why the resolution is better. Because um, like <laughs> they had different tech to work with five years ago. I mean, the Tazavesh gear gliders and stuff are the same model as the mage mount, the mage disc. Um. And there are a whole bunch of the other ones that have had similar looking uh, mounts happen here and there. But no, it's, um, people don't tend to give a shit about that. <clears throat> Baby Earth. 
Um, this one. Um. This steak is really fucking tasty. Like, I think Jas got like just the right amount of salt on it or something. It's just really good. Ah, oh, didn't realize. And you never like. I never know how hungry I am until I actually have like food in front of me, right? Who else is like that? Comfy underwear. Um, your language features are cool. I presume you're talking about CQ3. Uh, I don't really feel hungry as soon as I started eating. I really felt it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So your body's trying to protect itself or something. Depends on the food too. Oh yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> absolutely. I washed the entire cup. Aw, thank you. Because there was black stuff on it. I was yeah. like, remove! Mm. Agreed. Eradicate. How are you? My CK3 game could be going better. Oh, why? Everybody decided to have an uprising against me. Well, maybe it's because they don't like you. And I went, okay, that's fair. And, you know, I conceded because they had like 400% military power. <laughs> And then literally a month later, they're having a war with the new queen to put me back on the throne. I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? They didn't like you, and then they're like, actually, we don't no, like no, her no, more. No, 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 no. That was a noise. And then once I got back on the throne, they put my brother on the throne again. This is like, would you guys calm your shit? Maybe it's different generations. I don't know, but it's really annoying. I get that. So I killed them all. Oh, right, it's up outside, Baby, isn't it? I always forget da, da, this. Da, 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 da. <laughs> All the jazz sound effects are going off. Yeah. Nyeh. Yeah. Um. Hi, Jess. They realized they hated her more. Yeah, and then he came back, and they're like, oh, right, this is why we hate him. So I've seen AI do that. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe they updated the, the stress things for AI. <laughs> oh, that's not a door. Good. That's a door. Oh shit. Uh uh Okay. Hey Jess, have you got toppings in your drink? <laughs> stuff stuck to it. Right, okay. Forgot the fructose. I thought you might have, yeah. It um, it tasted a little bit interesting. Not not bad, but just not quite right. Should I? I do have a couple of chair streams. Uh, I'm gonna go turn this into banshee, and I'll come back. I have no time for games. Perfect. All right, I will be back soon.
My bubble tea is now sufficiently sweet. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, <laughs> Raven, you actually, do you have access to the, you should do. There's a chair, there's a Fiamma chair emote too. Hope you're doing well today. Chair is, chair is being very, very supportive. Very, very supportive. <laughs> God, I fuck like Undercity's cool and all, but I fucking hate this shit. It wants me to take the elevator, so I think I'm going to because it needs me to take the orb to Kelthalas. I thought it was hilarious when I was uh, doing this on Fear. I took the I took the portal, like I ported myself to Silvermoon, and then I went and picked up the daily, and then it told me to port to Silvermoon because it ported me back to where I came from and then ran straight in again. It was very funny. At least I thought it was very funny. These, these arches are not designed with the cloud serpents in mind. Oh, I despise navigating Undercity. Agreed. Agreed. It's, it's labyrinthian. I mean, I know it is supposed to be. I get it. But still. But still. Mm-mm-mm. <clears throat> I think now a chair more lock sound would work. I think you might use the right way. No, 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 not a, it's not about right or wrong, not at all. I was just letting you know there was one just in case you didn't know, in case you hadn't seen it. That's all, no, no right or wrong, God no. <clears throat> just blind lock, no, you're fine. You're totally fine. It's not all, like, I mean, some people love Twitch emotes, and so the first thing they do whenever they get a sub or if they're gifted a sub, whatever, is check or, like, open up the emotes and have a look and see what all the different ones are that they can use. But emotes aren't the most important thing to a lot of people. Um, there are a bunch of people who get who sub just because they want to support or because they want the badge or something like that. Excuse me, and the emotes are kind of secondary. But there is actually a benefit to you using emotes elsewhere um if you check out the the ones that a streamer that you enjoy has um and then like you know pick and choose when to use them because if if people like them enough they'll hover over them and they'll see where they come from and you may accidentally introduce new people to the community uh which is awesome it's like a it's like a really subtle um a really subtle adver uh, advertisement for um like I'm sure when you when you get when we do the emote only mode and stuff, I'm sure people go, "Ooh, that's funky. Where's that from?" You know, and they they click it and they find out. And people do that with Fiamma emotes too. Hopefully, maybe. I like them. I think they're cool. No, Edda, I have an autoimmune condition. My whole body is fucked. My my immune system, instead of attacking invaders like COVID, uh, attacks itself and attacks my body. Unfortunately, it results in me not being able to breathe a whole lot of the time, and so my body reactively sniffs so I can try to get enough oxygen. Uh, but trust me, it is far more annoying for me than it is for you. Uh, all right, so we're done with that, and I've got fucking... No, oh, no, actually, I can go back to Seat of the Primus instead. But that's Alexia done for dailies. So I can just do the dungeon run on her every day. And she'll eventually get the 100 tokens for the sturdy level. So that's done. I'm gonna switch my druid. Be a little column B. I like it much. If you get to use them, that's okay. They're there if you want to. This one's room sub two just for their emotes. The rest is because I actively watch them. Of course, of course. Speaking of emote only, yeah, we can do that. Boop. There you go. Couple minutes for you. Um, let's. Pop on off here and jump onto the druid and do some more funsies.
Apparently she needs three rounds of dailies. So we'll start with today and see how we go. <laughs> Super cute. Having them bounce across the screen is definitely a nice little addition. <laughs> Let me hang on. Where am I? No, not this one. Not one. No, oopsie. There's a couple that are higher tier as well, so let me just show you. Get all of them in. There we go. Oh, I'm a bear, that's right. Huh. Woozy. There we go. Time is up. You can use your words again. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll put on Ashram. Let's go. Let's do this. Imagine using words. I know. I know. How outrageous. How, like, how redonkulous. Words are hard, okay. Words are hard. Okay, so we're going to do the little intro quest chain on this one because I haven't done it before. Justin called the definitely farm. One of those eggs a day, yeah. Uh, yeah, well that's what I ended up doing and I, uh, I have my mount now. Which is good. I hit seven and I, like, Adon told me that I'd already turned in three and I'm like, have I though? Turns out I had. So that was nice. Um... Blood and thunder. Oh, excuse me. Got your love rocket? No, I have not gotten my heartbreaker. Not yet. Nine hundred and fifty attempts. Talk to me. We will be back at it tomorrow. Strength and honor. McGraw. Strength and honor. Okay, here we go. Your mount? Yeah, no, different mount. <clears throat> Time is money. The one from Corsia with the with the eggs. Be good. Oh, okay. I'm going super speedy because apparently I can get this disguise while I'm in mount form. There's so many mounts. There are nine over nine hundred. In fact. But I have under 200 of them to go that are obtainable, so that's nice. 
until 9-2 hits, <laughs> and it jumps by 43. <clears throat> but that's fine. I'll get it back down again. Yo, keep it real. Sinuses. Today has been a really, really bad day for my body. I just don't understand what, like, something is wrong. Like, more wrong than usual. I feel like my skull is going to explode face, like, frontwards. Frontwards. That's <sighs> right. It is what it is. Just extra inflammation today. I may have 99. What, attempts for the Heartbreaker? Or something else? Or oh, mounts. You have 99 mounts. That's okay. That means you've got all the easy ones still left to get. You got 640 something. It starts getting difficult. <laughs> New mounts are not as easy to come by. I'm not sure which ones are easy. If you have a look at data for Azeroth, the ones that a very, very high percentage of players have tend to be easier to get. Collect down pets over 1011, starting to get hard slash expensive. Uh huh, uh huh. What am I on? 1264 unique. I feel that. <clears throat> Definitely starts getting difficult. Uh, is that druid platform a bat? It is. It is. Uh, this is a troll. Troll druid. Check it out. Thank you. Very welcome. Can you also buy honor marks or do you have to farm them? Uh, if you're talking about marks of honor, no, you have to farm them. Um, you can buy, I think you get a bag of five of them for 5,000 honor or 1,500. I can't remember exactly, but it's in Ouroboros. You can buy, you can buy marks for honor, but not for gold. <clears throat> yeah, so if you got nothing else to spend your honor on, then that's just, that's where it's designed to be dumped. Keep in mind, I'm not really a PvPer, so um, I'm not going to know a whole lot about PvP stuff, uh, just because I don't do it very often. Uh, but I'll do my best. No guarantees. <laughs> Nelly deals for a friend of the Grummel's, <laughs> like you. How may I aid you? Ancestors Sub Sunk Dabu Greetings. Well met. Estus. How else did you spend your honor? I don't know. Sorry. I know that there's stuff you can spend it on because it's currency, but I. I I'm not sure. I don't really PvP. Um, but Wowhead will be able to tell you. Oh, I'm sure they'll have an entire guide on, on Honor in Shadowlands and how it works. Because they usually do stuff like that, which is awesome. Mm. 
Mm, power marks up now, not sure it's been long. Um, a fuckload of uh, transmog. <laughs> like, it takes thousands and thousands and thousands of marks of honor to buy all the transmog. <clears throat> if you don't already have a few pieces. PvP gear, new battlegrounds and arena, transports and mounts, probably more. Yeah, there's um, there's a lot of collectible shit that you can spend marks of honor on. <clears throat> In fact, I'm pretty sure that's the only thing you can spend marks of honor on is the the um cosmetic stuff, isn't it? Or can you actually buy proper gear gear for marks as well? I don't know. As I mentioned, do not PvP, don't have any fucking idea. <laughs> mm, let me show you do. There you go. It is a very popular one. AK Racing are fantastic. Let's look at all the sets, find which one you like the most and go for it. Or just start at the top and work your way down through ACT. Uh, hello, Daz. Hey, Don. Um, if you have all the things installed, you can type slash ATT space and then shift click an item to link it in chat and it'll give you a pop-up window of everything that that thing can purchase. Everything. Have fun scrolling. <laughs> well there. Mm. This is a fun time. How can you play WoW and not PvP? Very, very easily. I enjoy different parts of the game. There are a million and one different ways to play the game. PvP is definitely not the only one. <clears throat> it can be stressful. What PvP? Oh, anything in the game can be stressful, to be perfectly honest. Um, but there are just other parts of the game I enjoy a hell of a lot more. That's okay. To each their own. I mean, have you seen what we're doing in game? Like, with the with the heartbreaker farm? <laughs> Bless you, Jess. Have you playing? Have you been playing since launch day two thousand four? No, uh, I started playing at the start of Burning Crusade. I've been playing for fifteen years. Um. Uh, very, very rarely PvP. You have to be in the right breed for it. Yeah, we're um we're probably gonna start doing some PvP on stream in a couple months or so. Just because I have uh mounts that I need to get. <clears throat> but um that won't be for a while. And even when we do, I probably won't learn much more about it. I'll just be, like, bashing my head against it and talking to chat until the mounts happen. So, <laughs> yeah, I just, I don't give a flying fuck about PvP. I just, I could not give two shits. Uh, Draz, Dunno, Great, Fairy, K, Faden, Max, Raven, and Spam. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shits. What else would you rather do? I mount farm, I transmog farm, I do pets, I do toys, I do special events, I do raiding occasionally, mythic plus, that kind of shit. I do pretty much everything in the game except PvP because I just don't like it. Like you gotta get that PvP in your blood stream if you're a competitive person, get the adrenaline. No, you don't have to do shit. The only wrong way to play World of Warcraft is to shit on other people's play styles. Guess what you're doing, honey? Please stop. Uh, all right. 
mages. Ah, it's off cooldown. Fantastic. Let's do this. Go on in there. Awesome. Let's go this way. Eh. Tiny little clicky. All right, so I have two charms and I want, I need more. So, Deaths of Kurumi. Uh, I think it's, let's go with this one and just sort of, oh no, that's the wrong one, I think. Oh, excuse me. That one didn't work, but this one will. So let's, oh, I'm in. Yeah, look, let's... Now, I'm going to leave myself in, in Guardian because I'm, chances are I'm going to need it later. And swapping back and forth is going to be exhausting. Mm. I like food. Death of Kremi still sets your eye level, um, but that's the point. You want it to so that the mobs aren't grey. If the mobs are grey, you can't get lovely charms. You want them to... You want them to be um, dangerous. Yeah, it's the whole point. <clears throat> Um, meant just for actually doing it. Ah, oh, no, yeah, it definitely still sets your stuff, but yeah, um, it's not like it's difficult. <clears throat> it wasn't that difficult back in the day either. It was just you had to do it again and again and again to get all the buffs and bits to allow you to do the whole thing within the timer. Like, that was the whole thing. It wasn't that it was really hard. It was just that it was supposed to be impossible until you earned the rep with Chromie. Mm. <laughs> you want them to be dangerous. It's hard if you stand in the fire. Yeah, look. Activate hard mode. Piss off your healers. You'll be fine. <laughs> Do you need some comfy underpants? Actually, hang on, now that I can, ooh, now that I'm not like trying to rush stuff. Hey, yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Yep. So fucking comfy. Ugh. Much recommend. Well worth the price. Well worth the price. Um, I wonder if they've restocked the women's line yet. Last time we checked, everything was out of stock. <laughs> Just click the link and find out. <laughs> oh, they've got a Valentine's range. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Hold on to your helmet. We're traveling through time. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh my god! The Valentine's set is available in the women's one as well? Oh Jesus. Oh, they're all they're all sold out. Okay. Bugger. Oh, and they took the green ones down. Forest isn't there anymore. This is still mostly sold out, yeah. I'm not an extra small, neither am I. These are 
Oh, actually, that's a really good question. What size are these? I think they're smalls. <laughs> I don't think they actually have it on the tags. I think they're only on the packaging. Either smalls or mediums, I know that much. I just don't remember which one. It's such a pity that the Valentine's ones are sold out because they are fucking gorgeous. I love them. Is this for love? <clears throat> Alright, let's see here. I think we're at the right time, give or take a minute. Am I dead yet? Oh good. There I am over there. Hi V. Oh, hi. <laughs> What are you doing here? Mm, I'll just shit my out see if they're big enough for my plus size beauty. They go up to a 3XL um, in the women's range. Uh, the men's range, I think, has slightly different sizes and stuff. They do take the measurement from the waist. Like, they, they took a, take a waist measurement because the legs of the pants are, like, so, so heckin' stretchy. Um, like, when I, when I saw the waistband on these, I'm like, look, that'll fit my waist. But I have, like, I have hips, right? I have hips. Um, and they, that they just fit so beautifully well. Like they fit so snug and just like comfort, not like snug as in tight, but just like, it's yeah, so they're nice perfect. They're perfect. Um, but they do go, they go from an extra small up to a 3XL in the women's range. Uh, so yeah. Here we go. Um, yes, but shit ones are from my bright oranges and yellows and purples. They're, I'm fairly sure they'll probably be working on it. I think they went with like the the best seller kind of range of colors just to sort of see how they go um but the fact that they sold out that quickly i am certain that they will expand the color range like super fucking quick you know it's always you gotta test the market right the blue dragon gotta test the market with you. Ley line disturbances? Can I assist you? you challenged me to muck or are, so you want to fight me to the death no no i don't want either of us to die that's a bad thing let me think oh i did see that black i'm popping in to say i hope she's going well indeed it is binary i hope you're having a lovely day let's see what i imagine make a hood character get some cool katana transmog nice enjoy yourself enjoy Ooh, i get to report someone sweet uh, report. To investigate. Chat message. Let's go, uh, investigate some dragon shrines. That sounded way better in my head than it did out loud. Bam. Amazing. Bad butt. You hip there, radical dude. <laughs> My mom thinks I'm cool. I'm chronoporting us to a point four hours before the attack Tight enough. Like just it's a, a good fit. A good fit. Uh, finally bothered to get T6 Codex! Ah, oh, well done, Jack. I, yeah, not even close. Not even close. Um, we're simply, yeah, Deaths of Chromie is a really super efficient place to farm lovely charms for lovers in the air. My mum is cool. My mum is fucking hella cool. She's, she's so cool. Jas, you need to kind of gently remind me that when I'm with mum, I need to take, like, lots of photos and lots of videos, especially, like, with the food and all that kind of shit. I need Instagram content. Thanks. <laughs> Please remind. <laughs> uh, every time you say BAM, the dirt is gone. Correct. Yep. That's exactly it. Exactly it. Stop right there. Ah, <sighs> dearie me. Why hello? There. That did it. We are now at a time Make Gozumi. minutes before my death. Let's go. That probably won't be enough time to save me, but it's the best I can do for now. Yeah, and so you, so even she admits like you're not gonna win, but you you get buffs slowly but surely. You add buffs to your uh, your arsenal, and you end up 
uh, being able to do it. But I don't care about that because all I want to go to is the Emerald Dragon Shrine. And farm charms. And I probably want to do this in balance, don't I? Because <clears throat> I don't need to loot anything, so... Dots are useful. This is the only problem on fear, is that, um... Ignite as a dot doesn't do much damage. So it's kind of... Both the druid and the rogue so far have been more efficient than the, uh... Than the mage. And I'm only like half a lap in, so that's fun. <clears throat> I mean, my, my rogue is also necro, um, so that, like, the, the spiny, the throwy spiny thing is what, like, yeah, by the time you reach another one that you need to throw one of the three charges at, it's, it's reset because something's died. It's super efficient. Hmm, I'm a mini dragon. Yeah, a little mini bronze dragon. Because she's a baby. Like, she's she's still very young in terms of, like, dragon age. Um, so, yeah. She turns into a little bronze whelpling, which is heckin' adorable. Gotta say, being dazed fucking sucks, though. <clears throat> Twelve minutes to go. I'm probably not gonna get enough charms to do me the entire three rounds of dailies I need on the druid. But I think that the extras I got on the rogue should cover me. Chromie is fucking adorable. Why not do it in Guardian? Can I, like, do I have enough mana to constantly spam Moonfire or Moonblast, whatever the fuck it's called, in Guardian? I, I know nothing, remember. Nothing. Imperial's base kit in Guardian. Okay, but, it's, uh, and I'm not going to run out of mana. Okay, then let's, let's try that then. Mm, it's free as going in and you get swipe. I don't need swipe. I just keep running and, and spamming. I'm more powerful than I appear, you know. <laughs> like so. Bye. So why not? Because I don't know. <laughs> because I didn't know that was an option. Eleven minutes to go. Oopsie, wrong button. Oh, right. Now I attack this one. What's Moonfire on mouse button? Kick. to go. Um, time for another 850. No, uh, 750 this year. Um, 850 was a couple of years worth of attempts. Um, 
So 750 is this year because I've got 50 characters times 15 days. So 750 attempts. So it'll be up to, if it doesn't drop, it'll be up to 1600. 1600 attempts. <clears throat> Yeah, I can't really be bothered updating the number of attempts every day. So, because if I'm live, I can just show you on the screen. So, I'll uh, I'll update it when it drops or at the end of the event. Oh, excuse me. I'm doing time walking. I forgot how to kill cooler minions, but eighty stacks is coming back. Oh no! Finally doing my Elders run on my main. Nice. What have you got left to get, Kay? Or are you doing it for achievements? <clears throat> achievements. Makes sense. Year of the event will cross all the fucking shit off our lists. Finish off ATT. Ooh. Excuse me. Very rude. So I don't have Lunar Festival on there anymore because I finished it, which feels really good. We do have Lovers in the Air. <clears throat> and I'm hoping after I get the uh, dailies done, I won't have to do this bit on fear because she's already got enough for the dailies. Um, so hopefully it'll be a bit quicker and she can also port around to turn them in, which will be nice. Uh, I'm hoping I'll have enough time to go farm the uh, bouquet of red roses that I'm still missing. But, uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Determined to finish the overall world event achieved this year. Nice! Well done. And they've been slowly working it on and off for the last decade. Yeah, it would get to the point where I'd be like, Oh, that's an achievement, right. What am I missing? Oh, that one achievement. Oh, what's that from? Children's Week? That was last month. Every fucking time. So I ended up setting myself like a calendar alarm for when it started. I was like, good, done, finished. <clears throat> yeah, I'm missing a few Dark Moon things. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna need help with those. I don't think I can solo them. Um, Stranglethorn Fishing Extravaganza will be a hell of a time, um, but I have to, like, I, I, I can't get up like that at the moment. 
so much time walking shit. Like, in terms of, because time walking has all the transmog and stuff in it as well, so I'm kind of just ignoring that. I don't think I'm going to be able to cross that off. Uh, but if I cross off those dungeons, if I if I go in and cross those off, I might be able to, it might make them disappear because they share things. Free t-shirt day will be fun. Because I'm only, I'm only missing a few. So just follow them around and follow the, the person around till they drop. And then go around and do all the uh, vendor stuff. Let's see. <clears throat> Trial of style, I feel like, will be shit. <laughs> because I'm not good at transmog. And people have to vote for you. So there's that. Lovers in the Air we're working on. Lovers in the Air may not get crossed off only because the heartbreak is in there. Um, but hey, if that's the only thing left, I'll be happy with that. Got Noble Garden, Midsummer. What the fuck am I missing from Midsummer? Oh right, the uh, the Frost Scythe. Literally, that's it. Just the fucking weapon. Well, I've got fifty tunes to run it this year. Ah, excuse me. Uh, I tried to decide if it's worth doing another Lunar Elders run to get two more pets to sell. I don't know how far the price will drop when people start selling them. Yeah, it'll. Quite a bit, usually quite a bit. Uh, every time we're not being able to stop, is right when there's an event. Yeah, yep, absolutely. Uh, what is she doing? She is doing laps in Deaths of Chromie um, to get lovely charms. You can speak directly to me, just by the way. Heads up, you're allowed to, it's fine. <laughs> you can ask me questions. Uh, but yeah, I'm doing laps in the Emerald Dragon Shrine uh, in Deaths of Chromie, killing stuff because they drop lovely charms. Um, and this is one of the most efficient ways I've found to farm them. Uh, the lovely charms get turned into bracelets, which can be used to turn in the dailies with the world, the, the faction leaders, uh, or you can turn them in at the rate of one bracelet to one token. Uh, but I'll be holding on to them for the dailies because it's more efficient that way. Um, you just have to wait. Um, just take a group of friends. Uh, for... We're taking a group of friends. Oh, for Trial of Style. Yeah, we could do that. So that doesn't count as win trading, does it? Uh, I do just the queen directly. All chat must be submitted for approval and presented on a felt pillow. So whose job is it to do the embroidery? Is that Shiba? Or is it Jas? Because if Jas does it, we might not be able to read it. <laughs> God. The ATU show all the world event stuff. Um, there's an option in there. I can't remember what the option is, but it's um, like to filter in or out stuff that's not available right now. Uh, and I've got it turned on so I can see everything, even if I can't get it right now. Uh, thank you for answering. You're very welcome. Ask the chat because it's the first time I come to your stream and wanted to be as polite as I could. Apology for the wrong. It's totally fine. Like when, when people are streaming like this, usually it's because they want to interact with chat. Um, it's not about like being polite or anything like that. Um, it, it can sometimes feel a bit standoffish if you come into a, a channel and instead of addressing the person presenting the stuff, you, you talk to everybody else. Um, but it's it's totally like you're not you're not in trouble. It's it's fine. I was just letting you know that you are more than welcome to speak to me <laughs> directly if you so desire. Um, we're totally fine. I'm not. Uh, I don't have my head up my ass or anything like that. So. Yep, you're uh, you're all good. You're all good. Uh, so, okay, I got a funky smelling cotton on the moment. Felt pillow, is it the dry cleaners? <laughs> Maybe I should put extra felt pillows on my wish list. Shall I have a look? See, yeah, yeah, have a click around. Just have a bit of an explore. Like, click things, see what changes, unclick things, see what changes. Like, yeah, I, that's what I did for a, a bit, just trying to figure out where I wanted it to sit. <clears throat> I, went, I do not know if it counts as when trading. I look, I don't think it does because it doesn't. It's co it's all cosmetic. Um, there's no like leaderboards. There's no rankings. There's no none of that kind of stuff. It's not like um, it's not like you're win trading and boosting somebody up to get into the gladiator. So, do you know what I mean? I think that's why it's a big thing. Um, I know that they've specifically said like there's a there's a scenario in. Grand, I think it is, in Outland, where you can take in like 20 people 
and it's like an arena style thing and there's achievements for winning being the last one standing it's like a, it's a total free for all and they have explicitly said that win trading in those kind of things is fine so um like you know getting a group of 20 going in and allowing person one to win and then person two and then person three so that everyone gets the achievement that's allowed <clears throat> so i'd assume that this kind of thing is too um uh, 97 not too bad i did fuck around a little bit though so if i um if i'd actually like done it properly i probably would have done better but that's right we did pretty okay i think <clears throat> Trouble, naughty corner. Uh, I just put a fresh pillowcase on it. She'll never know. <laughs> Thank you, sincerely. You're so welcome. Sometimes when people farm, don't chat so much, but I get he works super friendly. Yeah, no, I am. I'm chatty as fuck. Uh, this is like we we make the joke that um, what I actually stream is just chatting with a side of gameplay of World of Warcraft because the main focus here is like the interaction and the chats and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, you are always more than welcome to to speak to anyone uh, here directly or like including myself. So yeah, for sure. Like settle on in and have some fun. Uh, I'm not sure there would be any objective way it could have a negative impact on anyone else. Exactly. Yeah, this isn't trading for rank. It's helping people get an achievement. Correct. And transmog, because there's tokens. If you win a trial of style, you get a token and you can use that token to buy transmog. This is my issue. There are things, guys. I need the things. Unless your group is too small, you get random person in who you excluded. Yeah, I imagine like we'd have to just figure it out. We'd be fine. It's four for trial of style, right? We could totally do that. Split the family up into groups of four and uh, and get everyone as many tokens as we can. Uh, is there any better just chatting than just chatting with WoW behind? I don't think so, no. but other people may, may feel differently. <laughs> I'm not gonna judge them for their preferences, but I agree. Money, I agree. Oh my god, the bear moves so slowly compared to the kitty. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. Six, I think. Ah, oh, wait, why aren't we farming? Huh? Why aren't we farming? I just, I finished my farm. I have enough, I had enough charms. So now I'm going and finishing off the dailies. Six, I live. Okay, I, uh, yeah, look. I think I've done one trial of style and I lost hardcore. Because I was like, what am I doing? What am I doing? What are, ah, time's up, shit. Yeah, it was not fun. <laughs> Good evening, Zarin. How are you this wonderful day? I didn't get them out. That's not why I'm happy. I'm just happy because like I'm chilling and it's fine. I like food. The food is cold, but it's still fucking delicious. This is what happened when I spent all the time talking and none of the time eating. Hmm. <clears throat> so, as it is my first time here, could you please share the type of content you make here? Maybe YouTube. Uh, thank you in advance. Um, so, I do have a YouTube channel, but it's all just old VODs. Like, literally, it's just VODs that I've uploaded to YouTube. And I'm having some trouble, so they're a little bit behind. Um... But it's like mainly World of Warcraft. We do have a couple of different, like we, we throw in some variety every so often. Like uh, last Friday I built uh, Lego Grogu, like Grogu the child from the Mandalorian had a Lego version of him that we built on stream because Zarin sent me it and it was amazing. And so I built it on stream. Yeah. Can you tell I was really happy about it? I was so excited. It was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. Uh, and we've played a few bits and pieces here and there, just random stuff, but mostly World of Warcraft. Also, stream readers um uh but in wow i do uh, mostly collection kind of stuff so mount farming pets toys transmog um uh, occasionally some raiding occasionally some mythic plus but most of it's like completionist style stuff and lots of leveling i uh 
<laughs> I did a lot of leveling and I got 50 level 50 characters for lovers in the air. Uh, but that's done, obviously. 50 50s. Check. Uh, everyone is now bugging me to do 50 60s. Maybe, look, maybe, but um, I'm I'm kind of done with leveling for a little bit. I want to play. I want I want to do other parts of the game for just a little while. Uh, but yeah, no, it's a uh, chill, super chill is kind of like chilled and chatty, are two words I would very much use to describe the stream. Chilled and chatty. We do have moments of hype, and and like excitement and stuff but it's not like alarms blaring and lights flashing and it's not and you know chat moving in a million miles and we don't we don't do that kind of stuff um we're just like if something drops everyone goes oh my god grats and then like five minutes later it's back to normal so <laughs> except if the heartbreaker drops when the heartbreaker drops it might be a little more exciting than that but we'll see We'll see. Time will tell. V, Draz, Clergy, Faden, Max, Great, and Fairy, congratulations on all of your bonus shit. Well done. I'm collecting my bonus tier. I caught some of that. It was pretty cool. It was so much fun. He's sitting out on the shelf now with his little plaque next to him and the little itty bitty meanie baby Grugu. Um, yeah, he's super cute. Good, almost paid off my new PC. Ah, wonderful, Zarin. That's such good news. Congratulations. Congratulations. I'm uh, I'm planning on looking at a, maybe a new PC once the dentistry's paid off. Um, I mean, I've got a few big ticket purchases that I would like to make, um, but I I need to I still need to figure out what my priorities should be. Um, like, so obviously, you know, there's dentistry is the number one priority. Health before everything else. Like, health first, always. Um, then I've got, like, I, I want to move to Melbourne. I want to move back home to be with my family. Uh, and that's going to cost me a bit. Like, it, you know, it is what it is. You know, you'll have to have bond for new apartment. You've got to move all your shit into state, which costs money. Um, all that kind of stuff. Like, it's, it's just an, it's an expensive adventure, especially if you don't have, like employment and shit secured on the other end um there is a possibility that i could move my job um because i do work from home uh and then also obviously I, I like my day job and my night job are both from home so i could potentially still do them from melbourne uh but it's a big question mark so i'd have to find that out and then you know do all that kind of thing um i need to get um look it's not a need but it kind of is a need i ne i would like a new phone uh, not because my phone isn't working. It's fine. I mean, it, it dies very quickly all the time, but that's, I don't care about that. I'll just stick it on charge more often. It's the camera. Uh, the phone camera is, I mean, I've got like a, what is this? Is an eight? I think it's an eight. Uh, iPhone eight, which is fine, but the camera is starting to not be as good as it could be. Uh, and I'm a content creator, and if I can carry a fucking awesome camera around in my what pocket, in it will place? enable me to hopefully create better content. Uh, so yes, I would be writing it off as a business expense, but it's still like fucking 1700 fucking dollars. Uh, so that's a big expense. Um, and then of course there's a new PC, because this baby, I gutted her and rebuilt her when, uh, I think just a couple months after BFA launched. So we're looking at about a three-year-old PC now, which is not bad. Like three years is you, like my PCs usually last me about five, but um, like given that I'm an affiliate with Artesian Builds, I want to test out their shit. I want to, uh, I want to go to them and I want them to help me with a build, and then I want them to to give me a price within my budget, all that kind of stuff, and then I want them to ship it to me. I want them to build it on their channel and ship it to me so that I can experience their service from start to finish so that I can more accurately help you guys if it's something that you're looking to do. Um, plus they're gonna give me a bit of a discount uh, because I'm an affiliate, like one PC I get a discount on. And then I can run a two PC setup, which would be phenomenal. Maybe make for better content potentially. I mean, better quality in terms of production quality. You, you're still gonna get the same shit from me. Like <laughs> that's not gonna change with a second PD, with a second PC. Um, like so, there's all these things that I would really like to do that involve cash, but I don't fucking know what should be taking priority because I'm bad at that part. I'm really bad at that part. 
Mm. <laughs> oh, wow, nice. It's just weird. I never saw you on Twitch before as I love farming collectors. Oh, no way. Greatly surprised you are. I like the vibes of your stream. Good. I'm so glad. Thank you so much for letting me know. I really, like... You know, when, when you have, like, a, a small business or whatever and you, you get an order and then you send out the order and then you send an email to the person saying, how was your experience? One to five stars. And, and, and you just never hear back. I don't even get that opportunity. Like, I can't I can't email people after stream and be like, how was your experience, this creation content time stuff? Like, it, you, you can't do that. So getting feedback on what people like and what people don't like and all that kind of stuff... Um, it can be really helpful as long as the don't like is constructive. Saying, I don't like you, you're ugly. Not particularly constructive. Not much I can do about that. Soz, um, <laughs> I can't afford plastic surgery, nor do I want it. So get fucked. Um, <laughs> but you know, like that sometimes something can work and other things might not work. You know, like if I, if it's like, you know, that was a really great idea, but the execution wasn't super great. It felt like, you know, wasn't super entertaining to watch. I didn't like when you were doing this thing and you weren't as interactive with chat as you usually are or, you know, it, whatever, it, you know, anything like that. Or, you know, you've added this new overlay and it really kind of obstructs what we're seeing. Constructive criticism. Um, but yeah, so getting that kind of feedback is, is just awesome. So thank you. I appreciate it. I really do. Oh, okay, got it. Thanks, Fia. Um, what did I help you with? I've forgotten what I helped you with now. Shit. You're welcome. <laughs> Sorry, Kay. Uh, we'll just ignore you and pretend it never happened. Watching your first stream is like chilling with a really good friend and having that one moment where you all stop and laugh like a maniac over something silly. Yep. All the time. All the time. And you know what's going to be ridiculous? Like, the, the final hours of the final Heartbreaker stream, I'm going to be hella delirious. Like, I'm going to be broken. And you got, you, you're you all just going to have to fucking deal with it. <laughs> it's the best part of this game. There's so much content. It's refreshing that fear streams is more to offer than typical BGs or Mythic Plus pushes. Look, um, honestly, when I do Mythic Plus, my numbers are better. Recently. Not always. They used to kind of drop when we do Mythic Plus. But recently, when I do M Plus, my numbers are better. Which is interesting, right? Um, but I like doing a variety of stuff. I like most of what the game has to offer. So it's kind of... I really, and what, what I really love is that I've managed to build this community that's along for the ride no matter what I choose to do, as long as it's in WoW, you know? And that, that is something special. That's something really special. You guys, you guys are special. I think I'm switched with a Google phone ad. Fear is complaining about her old iPhone. Yeah, look. Well, wow, the lunatics! <laughs> Look, I mean, if you're a genius, quite often lunacy will follow. Am I right? Uh, Fear was so down to earth when she only had one PC. Yep. Unsubscribing. Fear's too big now. Don't want to watch anymore. On a, it surprised me so much when I realized that that was actually a thing. That people drop a stream when they grow. Like... What were, you, what were you expecting them to do? If you like their content, more people are going to find them and chances are they're also going to like their content and then more people will be there. And, it, like, I understand that there's definitely a, a benefit to having a smaller viewer size or at least a smaller active chatting size because uh, you have more direct one-on-one -on -one interaction, all that kind of stuff. I, I get that. When, when, when chat is moving in a million miles a second, it is, it is impossible for a streamer to be able to keep up with that kind of chat. And so having a smaller stream when there are fewer people in chat, easy to interact and have like proper conversations and stuff. But I mean, look, I don't know. I don't think I'm the kind of stream that could explode like that. I don't think I create the kind of content that lends itself well to, to 10,000 person what, no viewing streams, you know? Um, I could be wrong, <laughs> but I doubt it. I doubt it. Are you committed to the Apple ecosystem? There are some non-Apple phones with very highly rated cameras. Um, I'm not sure. I think so. I think so. Just because I've had, and I know, I know, you know, just because you've been doing it that way for, for X amount of time, like I've never had uh, a, a smartphone that wasn't Apple. Um, 
and I I like like I like the way they work. I like the way that all the kind of the bits and pieces interact and everything. Like it just yeah, it's um I feel like upgrading a phone to to try to streamline my content creation and then having to learn an entirely new ecosystem, like a new OS and all that kind of stuff, would not be maybe the bestest of decisions. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's also one of those like why fix what isn't broken type things. Like I, there's not like I actually have nothing wrong. Like I don't see anything wrong with the with the iPhone. I mean, I see a lot of things wrong with Apple. But there are a lot of things wrong with fucking every fucking tech company nowadays. Like there's there's just <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're all doing shady shit. Um. Uh, but yeah, it's uh at the moment I would say probably yeah. At the moment, I would probably say yes. I am. I am committed to the Apple ecosystem just because it works well for me and my purposes. Mm, Go XLR is something I'd recommend. XLR. Goxler. The fuck is that? It's an audio duva wacky. What does a GoXLR do? GoXLR gives you control of your audio like never before. With a four channel mixer, you can control the volume of all your audio sources in real time so you can keep your focus where it needs to be. Why do I need one? I tweak all that in OBS directly. And then leave it alone when I, when I know it's working. Is that a like? Is there something wrong with my audio? Um, thanks for the holidays. Into oh, good. I'm glad you figured it out. Awesome. Any love rocker drops? No heartbreaker drops. No. Oh, I like your point of view. Obviously, it's your stream, your ways. Me, I would accept opinions and ideas from others makes a difference. Yeah. Then the creators will behave more in that way, not only in WoW but life in general. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, look, I I try to be open-minded. Obviously, you're never going to make everybody happy. And in the end, the most important opinion is going to be mine. Because it's my stream. It's my channel. Um, I want to I want to uh, curate a, a certain type of vibe and all that kind of shit. So if someone comes in here and says, you should have more flashing lights and you should have louder music and you should you should play music that's DMCA-able, on, and all the, do you know what I mean? Like if you know, you should open up song requests, all that kind of stuff. People are welcome to have those kind of those kind of opinions. Um, in the end, I'm gonna say no. Um, like they may well improve the content for some people, but I don't like that's not the vibe I'm going for personally. So yeah, it's um, I'm I'm definitely open minded about stuff, but there are yeah. In the end, it is going to be my opinion that matters most. Um, however, of course, that does not mean I'm not going to take other opinions into- Ah! Pfft, that button is my mount button on every other character. On this- on, on fear, on my main, it's a cooldown. It's a damage cooldown. Well, technically it's a defense cooldown nowadays, but that's fine. Um, oh, shucks. Oh, you're very welcome. That's what my mum tells me. Mine too, Zarin! Mine too! My feedback. I like that you created an awesome community and are super chat interactive. I don't like that I'm now farming this bloody dead horse. <laughs> yes. You're welcome. <laughs> Still surprised you can see all of us through our screens. Yep. Yep. Magic. Magic reverse camera. You. You know who you are. You might need to wash that t-shirt. Only if you want to, though. Looks comfy, but you might. You might want to give it a wash. <laughs> I wash my clothes because I have to put them on camera. Um. <laughs> <sighs> Washing my hair and, and, and putting on makeup and wearing clean clothes. Darn cameras. How dare they? Um... I mean, for me personally, I'm much more hesitant to donate throne to larger creators because I feel like, hey, you have 100,000 average viewers, you should be able to afford things. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, yep. Yeah. I feel that. I feel that. 
though, of course, you do, like, remember that um, the more you're earning, likely the more you're spending. And not just, um, like, I was talking earlier today about how I just don't have any time to do anything. I have no spare time. Um, you know, I have a list of to-dos that are actually stream-related. Where's my to-do list? Where's where's Asana? Um, I have a to-do list that is stream-related, but because none of them are urgent, none of them have due dates, none of them ever get done. Uh, stream stuff. What do we have? Uh, I have more GGWP videos to watch because uh, they've un they've opened up like a premium version that you can pay for. Um, and with that, uh, you've got all the, like, GGWP has, or GG, GGWP Academy has a whole lot of, like, beginner introductory, like, if you're new to streaming, watch me to learn shit. Uh, and I, I watched all of those, um, uh, last year, early last year. And although I didn't learn a ton, uh, I, because it, it, re it reinforced what I was already doing, which was really good. And there were a couple of bits and pieces that I learned, um, that have been very useful to me. A couple of program suggestions and stuff, or not program, uh, like Buffer, I'm pretty sure was a, su was a suggestion from GGWP, one of their videos. They've got um, intermediate videos now and they're only available to those on a premium subscription, which I have, uh, and I need to watch them. Do I have time? No. Keep in mind, these are like two minute, three minute long videos. <laughs> Do I have time? No. Uh, I've got all the VODs to edit and upload and shit. Um, I have skins that I've unlocked for Stream Raiders. I've got four of them that um, I need to send them concept art and stuff for so that they can create and upload new full skins for us in Stream Raiders. Uh, I've got merch. Uh, I've started working on that a little bit, but I need like I need to actually do that properly. So more merch. Um, uh, cleaning out my social media, like cl cleaning up who I follow, who I know, following new people, uh, making sure that people I follow on socials, I'm also following on twi Twitch, and then people who I'm following on Twitch, I'm also following on socials. Um, I need to design new business cards, and I need to get them printed. Um, I need to, well, look, the clip spreadsheet I work on every month, but I would love to get through the whole five fucking years worth of clips and get them into my spreadsheet, but that's probably never going to happen. Um, I've got all, my, all the channels, like, uh, all the channels, all the panels underneath. Uh, you might see that there are a couple that have a new design. I need to go through the rest of them and update the design and, like, clean up what's actually there and add new panels and get rid of a couple and all this shit. Um, I have uh, a channel trailer to fucking film and edit and upload. <sighs> like, that's been a feature on Twitch for, like, two fucking years now and I still haven't done one. Uh, I have a whole bunch of bits and pieces for you guys that I am working on designing, such as potentially updated sub badges, um, all this kind of fun stuff. <sighs> like, all this shit. All this shit. Like, and I, I don't have time for any of it. However, someone who has 100,000 viewers doesn't have to do any of that because they pay people to do it for them. So if they're spending a decent chunk of that income that they're getting from those viewers on people doing all this back-end shit for them so that they have a, you know, life, like I don't, they may still not be able to afford the bits and pieces. Like it might be that they don't, they can't justify the expense on themselves because they don't have the disposable income because they're still paying people. But like, if they're not paying for it, then they, they it is something that they want to have. Or they can also be using it like I'm doing, because I've got I've got my phone. The phone that I want is on my wish list. I'm not asking people to buy that for me. It's there so I stop having to because there are so many different versions of iPhones these days, and I kept forgetting which one I bloody wanted. So I went and did the research for the twelfth time, figured out which fucking one that I wanted, and stuck it on my wish list. So that when I actually have the couple of grand available to go and buy it, I don't have to do the research again. I can just go look at my wish list and delete it and buy it. <laughs> Perfection. But yeah, no, it's, um, yeah, it's a fun thing. There is, however, a suggestion on Throne, um, under there, because they've got like a, like, you know how Twitch has user voice for people giving feedback? And, well, you might not, but now you do. Uh, Twitch has a feedback site where you can like do a thing and people can vote on ideas that they like and stuff like that. It's called user voice. And, um, as in like, you're a user, you're a user of the web and then you have a voice, yes. Uh, and 
Throne has one. A well, not a user voice. It's a different platform, but it's the same kind of thing. Um, and one of the really popular things on there that looks like is planned um, is doing, instead of purchasing a gift from a Throne wish list outright, uh, you can chip in towards it. Crowdfunding. Crowdfund one, like a more expensive gift, which is actually, I think that's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, look. Who knows? Maybe that'll become a thing. And now we teleport all over the fucking place talking to leaders. Okay. Um, just considering from a cost benefit point, of course. Of course. Uh, I feel very much included in your stream, which is awesome. I'm feeling you, the community. Everyone is extremely helpful. You create an awesome environment and breeding a culture that people can be a part of and join and play in the game. We all love to play. Yay. Fantastic. Fantastic, Cinders. Uh, Dayton Raider. Hey, Fiamma, I had to make an alt account because I couldn't recover my old account after breaking my old phone on accident. Is that against Twitch policy? No. Uh, it's not against Twitch policy to have alt accounts. However, using them to get around bans and things like that. Like, if your main account has been banned and you create an alt account to go back to that same, then yes, that is absolutely against TOS. Um, and they can they can go further and do things like IP banning you and stuff like that if um, if you try to fuck with that. Uh, so if you've pre if you've previously been banned from this channel, uh, however, you can also reach out to Twitch support and if they can verify enough of your details, they'll be able to like remove the phone authenticator from the old account and get like get you to log in and set a new authentication device and stuff. Um, just yeah, go go re like open a ticket. There's a I think if you ta if you click your your like your display your menu thing, in under there there's support and I'm pretty sure that you can uh, you can open a ticket through that to get your old account back. No, be good. Have a good one. Hypothetically, would you ever move to a Samsung phone? Uh, I don't know. Hey, how you doing? I I don't know. Um, I I really like the iPhone UI and everything. It just it works for me. Maybe that's just because I've been using it for a decade and I'm used to it. Uh, but it it works really really well for me. Um, I like it a lot. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, specifically, a mix of when you get two PCs. Ah, oh, right. Okay. So a two PC setup usually it's like I'm playing on here, and I just send the whole. Oh no, because you'd have like the the um. You'd have the game going through, and then you'd have the and then you have OBS on the second computer rendering everything, right? Interesting. Yeah, look, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to get like a shitload of help if and when I do get to that point. Um, but I do have a handful of people who do that themselves already. Uh, I've got access to a couple of discords that are have been I've seen them be exceptionally helpful toward other people who have had similar questions and and how do I do this sort of panic mode things. Um, and I love the fact that I've got people like you here, Jack, um, who can help me with that kind of shit as well. Because that's the thing, like, I don't want to just kind of get another PC and plug them in and be like, look, guys, but it's shit, you know? Like, I, I want to make sure if I'm going to invest that kind of money into my business, I want to make sure it works. Um, yes, Straz, that is my wish list. Also, it has a suggestion thing. So know of something she really needs. That's like, there is a button that says suggest a gift. And if there's something you see that you think I'd really like or that you think I might need, or, or anything like that, you can grab a link to the purchase place and you can drop it in there and suggest it to me. And then if if I'm like, oh yeah, that's a great idea, I can just kind of hit go and it adds it to my wish list automatically, which is amazing. So like, yeah. Yeah. And have I mentioned it's my birthday in two days? <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, okay, while that is a half joke, one of my number one rules here has always been take care of yourselves before you take care of fear. Always, right? Like, even even when I've seen, like, big donations come through, I've always been kind of like, thank you, but, like, are you sure? Like, are you going to be able to eat food this week that isn't ramen? Like, yeah, so take care of yourselves before you take care of fear. Always, 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 always. Um, money, yeah. Yeah, posture check. I could probably use that, yeah. That's, um, I'm not, I'm not sitting particularly- Ooh, a stretch! Ah, uh, super comfy, thanks. Yay! Jokes on you, we're all secretly a group from a nudist colony, so none of us wear t-shirts to clean! <laughs> Brilliant, so that is how far behind I am on chat. Nearly 10 minutes, good, let's catch up. 
Uh, how could a total stranger help grow this community? Legit question here. I'm going to try to answer this as quickly as possible. I can expand on any of these points if you want me to. Let me know. I just, I'm try, I'm going to try to catch up on chat. So here's, here's a quick bullet point list. If you have any questions about any of them, let me know. Um, rock up before stream starts or as soon as you can when I go live. Tell people. Follow on social, particularly Instagram, but also I have Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok. Join the Discord. Uh, tell people. Yes. <laughs> those those are the ways. Those are the really big ways. Um, but yeah, when when you're following on social media, also if if you've got the time and you've, you know, got all the kind of things, um, interacting, liking posts commenting on posts, sharing posts, all that kind of stuff. All of that counts towards your engagement rate. Uh, and that's what sponsors want to see. They know, you know, oh, cool. She's got, she's got eight, eight and a half thousand followers. What's her engagement rate? Um, so yeah, cause that's, that's the percentage. Like if I, if I have 10,000 followers and one person likes my tweet, that's a shit engagement rate. And then it looks like I bought a bunch of followers, right? Um, whereas if we uh, if we have 10,000 followers and 1,000 of them interact with a tweet, liking it, commenting, retweeting, whatever, then you've got a 10% engagement rate and people will be tripping over themselves to try to give you money because that is ridiculous. Engagement rates are usually like 1% to 3%. Uh, like usually mine sit around 3 to 4, which is actually pretty fucking good. Uh, yes. Um, what are we if not slaves to this torment? Good. Uh, I was going to suggest a pixel because of the interconnectivity with all the things, but is having to learn a new way of using a phone, which is a commitment. Yeah, it could be. It could be. H however, th like this phone is still operating pretty well, so I could technically, I could technically uh, keep using this for most of my like needing efficiency stuff while learning to use a new thingamajig. But that also does add to my to-do list. Uh, <laughs> but cleaning out socials is such a pain. Yeah. Yeah, I think this round for a phone upgrade, I might go with an iPhone still, but then maybe next round, potentially, who knows. Um, but yeah, cleaning out socials is an entirely massive pain. Uh, luckily, I have got a couple of websites booked that are going to make it a little easier for me to like cross check things. But yeah, it's still going to be, it's going to be really time consuming unless, <laughs> unless I pay for premium for those websites, which I'm not going to do because bitch be broke. Uh, it's a lot of stuff. Good luck. Thank you, Jericho. Thank you so much. And welcome on in. Welcome to chat. I hope you're doing well. Must be nice to just play games for a living. You get fucked. <laughs> I know, I know you were, I, I know that was like a capper, but you yeah, know, that is, that is not, I mean, you can, you can absolutely just play games for streaming and do nothing in the back end uh, and you'll grow. Maybe. Ah, <laughs> uh, Rumi and I were talking about how time is a commodity with monetary value. Oh, fucking oath it is. That's why people have an hourly rate. That's literally how much your time is worth. Like, guys, <laughs> guys. Uh, if you want a PA, I'll work for bubble tea and chocolate croissants. I mean, I could technically send you DI, wait, where do you live? Country based, not like your actual address. Please don't dox yourself. Um, <laughs> do not, do not do the thing. Um, Cause I mean, bubble tea club, like. <laughs> the chocolate croissants could be trickier. Um, I want bubble tea, but I live out in the fucking country with hay bales. Well, um, depending on what country that happens to be, Jesse, um, uh, bubble tea club is DIY at home bubble tea that you make yourself for like, we brew the tea and you add the powders and you all that kind of stuff. Um, and they ship to Australia, New Zealand, the United States and Canada. And I believe it's anywhere within those countries. It just might take a little longer to get to you if you're out in the sticks. Uh, also... Affiliate code, help Fia pay for her dentistry. Ah, oh, that'd be a great idea if you get a kit so you can have it whenever you'd like. Exactly, exactly. Because I was Chewbacca zombie for 20 years, I get my old account back. And I've heard all about uh, about all accounts getting banned. Yeah, yeah, just don't, yeah, don't, like, if you've been banned somewhere, don't, don't fuck with that. But um, in terms of having alt accounts, totally reasonable. There are, there are partnered streamers who have like two or three partnered accounts because they've ground all, like they've grinded all of them up to, to partner and they've, and you know, they just run different games on different platforms or whatever. So yeah, it's, it's not against the toss. It's just when you start like evading, like ban evading and shit like that, that's, that is against toss. So you should be okay. Unless you just want to start on Dayton and, and build that up to be a main account now. That's also another option. 
Uh, curse you getting us into ATT, looking at 27.68, makes me want to fill things out. Blame Kuhn. Um, happy birthday for two days. Ah, uh, no worries. Thank you, Phoenix. Much appreciated. There will be a stream on Friday, but it's not going to be, like, unusually extended or anything. Night for yourself. Man, get yay, Jack. Congrats. Thank you for the suggestions. You're very welcome, Gabri. Not a problem. So there's no get Samsung phone. Ah, uh, I'm in Oz. There you go. Yes. Any bubble tea club... Uh, any bubble club tea in Spain. Um, they don't ship to Spain just yet. They might do in the future, uh, but my, the one that I'm an affiliate with doesn't. There might be a different company who does, though. You'd have to have a look into it. But yeah, bubble tea... Bubble tea is delicious. Uh, you're in Oz? Yeah, then even if you're out in the sticks in Oz, Jesse, it might just take a little longer to get to you, but it still should be fine. None of it needs to be refrigerated until you actually open it. So, like... They can ship pretty much anywhere. Um, Melbourne here. Fantastic, Unholy. Um, they're actually based in Melbourne, so if you're close enough to their offices, you can actually go and pick it up from their, their offices rather than um, having it delivered. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Good guard keep. Warp of translocation. Interesting. Oh, right. I can't, forgot I can't fly here. Bubble tea extravaganza. Yes. Have bubble tea here everywhere. Absolutely. Yeah, it's it's getting a bit like that in Brisbane too. There's so many bubble tea stores just opening up here, there, and everywhere. So many different brands and stuff. But I prefer the stuff I can make at home, honestly. It's cheaper per serving and it's heckin' delicious. Some of the flavors are actually better than stuff I've had at Gongcha, personally. Um, they have a couple flavors Gongcha doesn't have. Uh, and I can make it at three in the morning if I so desire. <laughs> I don't because I don't want to be awake at that time, but I could. Real reason for you wants to move to Melbourne bubble tea pickup. Oh, fucking oath. I mean, I will have it delivered. However, like the first time I place an order while I'm living in Melbourne, I'm absolutely going down there to meet Pam and Jenny, 100%. Like, I've spoken to them so many times now, because not only am I affiliated with them, they've sent me a few free kits and stuff like, Ah, Zarin! Zarin, thank you so much for the cheer. Much appreciated. Uh, but yeah, they've, they've sent me kits in exchange for socials posts and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I've done, I've made a bit of content for them here and there. And um, so I've interacted with them on a fairly regular basis. Um, we're not like friends. Uh, it's a professional relationship. Uh, but I would love to meet them. I think it'd be really... If they were willing, of course. If they were willing and able and, and they weren't weirded out by that, then, uh, yeah, no, for sure, I'd drop down there and be like, Hi! Here to pick up my bubble tea. Do I need, uh, do I need several strong people to carry the boxes? Uh, I placed an order just recently and it's arriving, like, Monday, Wednesday, somewhere between there. Uh, and it cost us... I think this one was only 350 uh, Max, Faden, Kludgy, Dayton, Spam, Dazzle, K, Draz, and Zem. Congratulations on all of your bonus shit. Speaking of sponsorships and brand connections, comfy underpants. Step one, comfy undies. Highly recommend. Most comfortable underpants that I have ever worn since receiving them. I have not worn anything else because they gave me seven pairs, which is perfect because I do the washing once a week. Uh, so <laughs> it's perfect, wonderful, amazing. Why is that? Oh, it's because it's their bit. Okay, gotcha. Uh, yes, not an affiliate link, not an affiliate code. I will not make money if you make purchase. However, if you interact with my socials posts from for them, uh, I will, I have, it increases my chances of getting further brand deals. Um, and brand deals is how influencers pay the rent. Eventually. Like, at the moment, uh, I'm small enough that it's, like, uh, at the moment I'm small and so I get kind of, uh, this is pinnacle, isn't it? Always do this. Uh, I get, you know, he here is some free product, please make post now. Um, but if I can grow my following enough, if I can grow my, my Instagram following particularly, because 80% of brand deals are on fucking Instagram, that if I can grow that enough, it might get to the point where they're like, here's some free product and some money. Could you please make post now? Uh, and that's, that's what we want to get to because I would really honestly love to become a full-time content creator. That is like my big goal for like fucking years was make partner. 
next big goal is be is go full time. Uh, but that's going to be a lot more difficult, I think. We'll see. I mean, not that making partner was fucking easy. <laughs> making partner was hard. Uh, but it's um. I think that um. In in content, I think comparatively, uh, it would have been easier to to going full time. I mean, people do just kind of drop everything and try and just like, yeah, I quit my job, let's go. Uh, but I can't really afford to do that. Um, that the thought of doing that fucking terrifies me. Uh, all right, so we're going to go to Prince Kelitha, Keliseth. <clears throat> to try to get the bouquet of red roses. Because I did the dailies. That's I finished doing the dailies now. Um... Bana shit, yes. Step one, yes. I'm just hosting you through my channel. I hope my Spanish friends discover as well. Oh, thank you. Much appreciated. That's so kind of you. Oh, dearie me. I am in the right dungeon, right? Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> oh god, the number of times I have zoned into the wrong bloody place. I do find it interesting that this is normal only. Like it doesn't drop on heroic, or apparently doesn't. It's uh it's interesting. Ah <sighs> there he is. Prince Keliseth. It hasn't ticked off. Usually I feel like it'd it'd tick off. That I've that I've tried. Hmm, had a drop in Stone Core about 40 minutes ago. Nice. Awesome source. Um Stone Core is last on my list, but a lot of people have been talking about Stone Core, so maybe maybe we just Maybe we just it's easy to get to as well. Welcome on in, by the way, Zen. Hope you're having a lovely day. Lovely day. Excuse me. High Priestess Azil. Normal and heroic. I wonder if there's anything I actually need from Stone Core as well. Like in terms of other transmog. Just leveling up before work. Nice. What level are you at? Oh, the only two, the only things I need are like zone drop and high priest, high priestess as ill anyway. Hilarious. Stone Core was like up and around this way, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's pop this on heroic, just for shits and gigs. Mount? Ah, uh, the one that I'm on, I think it was the Heavenly Azure Cloud Serpent. Yes, Heavenly Azure Cloud Serpent. Oh, there's two exalts of one map for me. Nice, Jack. Well done. Well done. Oh, shit. Right, zone drop. <laughs> Might as well try for stuff while I'm in here.
36. Awesome. You're getting there. You know, just Sidio walked off typing that. Last night. Ah, so I meant, do you have the one from Stone Core? Oh, yes. Yeah, I do. I do. I have lots of mounts. Thanks to Mount Farm Mondays. Fucking zone drops, y'all. Fucking zone drops. Is it? At least it's a BOE. It's not that expensive either. I just wanted to let you know. What? It didn't trigger an email either. What the? Is it taking its sweet ass time again? Sometimes it does that. Oh my god, yeah, okay, I refreshed and it came up. Thank you! It should, hang on, give it like seven minutes and <laughs> the last couple of times stuff from Throne has happened, it's taken a little while to trigger. I wonder if that's, and then I went in and found it manually pushed it through and then it did it twice and I was like, oh good, wonderful. It's exactly what I wanted. So I'll give it a little bit and if it doesn't, then I'll then I'll trigger it. Thank you so much, Zerin. Thank you. Much appreciated. My god. Yeah, their stuff has been a little bit laggy lately. I wonder, because they've been making a lot of updates to their to their stuff. Like, and good things. Like, it's been really, really good. It's all been on my end, like, creator end. But um, they've been making some really awesome changes. And I think it's just kind of making everything a little bit sluggish. Um, just because there's so many new things and maybe they're not quite, they weren't quite sure how it would interact, but, um, just at 90 mounts, can't think, have no idea which one to go for next. Ah, Street, congratulations on 90 mounts. Well done. As someone who has, um, one moment. There we go. The email I just came. Grateful. There we go. Thank you so much, Zeran, for the gorgeous fucking lipstick. The gorgeous lipstick. My god. Uh, oh, no, that's the wrong link. This one. Uh, so, Street, as somebody who has 641 mounts, according to this, is that right? I think it's right. Um, I would recommend Data for Azeroth. I am grateful. Thank you so much for the second gorgeous, amazing lipstick, Zarin. Thank you. It is so generous of you, so kind. And I cannot wait to put them on my face. Cannot wait. Thank you so much. Craving House Crossbones in February, they sold all year round over here. They have, they, as soon as we hit the new year, like January 2nd, um, there were hot cross buns in my local places. So, um, yeah, I know the feels. They're not, they're still not quite all year round, but they're definitely like half the year. So Data for Azeroth Street is a, uh, a website where you upload your tunes, and it shows you like your completion percentage and it gives you a ranking, like how well you rank against other players from your server and your region, all this kind of stuff. But the thing that I use it for is uh, if there's a mounts tab that shows all the mounts in the game, uh, you can filter them, you can sort them, all sorts of fun shit. Uh, and I choose to filter it so that it only shows me the ones I don't have. And then I sort them so that it puts the most common ones first. Most common first, right the way down to the rarest ones that like 0.001% of players have, right? All the way at the end. Because then what I figure is, like my logic here, is that if more people have it, it must be easier to get. And so I work my way from the top down and collect as I go. Well, do my best to collect as I go. Sometimes they don't drop because they're assholes, but that's, you know, that's fine. 
Um, I'm getting the class order horn for it now. Nice, good choice. I went through and got all tw uh, all the uh, all classes, like all the class order hall mounts. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Was the site data for Azeroth? As in, like, here is some data for you, but you are Azeroth. Yep. Yes. That's cool. It is really cool. I, uh, I use it a lot. Alongside all the things, which is the, the one at the top here. But all the things, uh, all the things does have a function. Like, if you're not looking to get, like, if you don't want to get a ton, a ton, a ton amounts, then, um, uh, ATT has a randomize feature. So you can type in ATT random. You can choose mount. Like, change your search filter, you can pick any of these things. All the things picks from literally everything in the entire game, just just be aware. But then you click mount, and it tells you a mount that you can go get. And then you can re-roll it if you don't want that one. Or you can re-roll it if you don't want that one. And it gives you... Fuck you, ATT! Fuck you, I'm trying! <sighs> Fucking, okay, yep, <clears throat> I'm fine. Everything is fine. But yeah, so you can, it, it can pick random ones for you and it gives you like a little slowly rotating image of it as well. So if you go, mm, no, I don't like the way that that one looks. I really, I don't want that amount. I want all of them. I'm a collector. I'm a completionist. But if you don't, if you're trying to focus on ones you actually want to use, then you can keep re-rolling until it comes up with something pretty that you want and then go try to get it. Two different ways. Bedtime, rest well, Ali. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. Enjoy the lurk and the rest. 181 map collection achieve only 219 to go. Yes, okay. Well done. You're almost there. Almost there. Time for this old man to go to bed. Rest well, Zarin. We'll see you next time. You get to come stream beforehand. Hope you have a fantastic, wonderful, amazing, all the fantastic stream baby. Eat too much cake unless you want to, of course. Um, I'm going to be streaming tomorrow as well because Heartbreaker. Uh, but there also, yes, will be a stream on Friday on the birthday. I got Elegon on my first week of playing, got it with my bro who has been trying to get it for 10 years. Ah, oh, street. Well done, congratulations. Well, I got something, which was a, a shared appearance, and then I have a pouch of red rose petals, but that's not the bouquet of, of red roses, so wrong. That's fine. Um, Is there a port out of here? I don't think there is, is there? I don't think there is. But there is a, like, if I go, if I run backwards, there's, like, a thing that skips half the instance, I think. Uh, from memory. It's alright, I'll come in and do it on normal and see if that gives us a bit better luck. Mmm. Original milk tea. Mmm. Delicious. We are indeed preparing our battle koala -tron. Thank you so much for reminding everyone to place their units. Shuffle off luffling along. I think I'm nearly at the portal. I think it's like just up here. And it bumps me to the start. Yeah, there it is. Stone core teleporter. See, it ticked off the stone core. Why didn't it tick off Utgard Keep? Prince Kelliseth. I feel really nervous now. I feel like I didn't do it right. Maybe it's not actually normal. Maybe it's like heroic. That's right. Heart is broken for another day. It's all right. Mine too, Phoenix. Mine too. I'm gonna pop it on normal and I'm gonna zone in and then I'm really gonna quickly go to the bathroom because I need to pee and I have a chair stream. So. I'm gonna take it. BRB.
Greetings. I have returned. We head off. No worries, Phoenix. Rest well. We will see you next time. I love how Cherry's getting into the spirit. Right? <laughs> I love the lights so much. They are so fucking pretty. I'm really, really happy with how they turned out. I have some. Str I have a string of lights for Noble Garden as well, uh, that are sitting in a box ready to go for when Easter hits. Uh, and there are lights for a bunch of other world events on my wish list on Throne, uh, as well. If you want to help chair dress up. Another chair stream. Right, gotcha. I get it. None of you want me here. <laughs> Stretch. Good luck getting that. Break it. Thank you, Phoenix. Yeah, I'll be streaming the attempts tomorrow as well. Um, 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. What are we on now? Day three? No. Day four of 18 consecutive days. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, we're on day four of 18 consecutive. Mm. It's gonna be good fun. I'm gonna be very upset if it doesn't drop. <laughs> very upset. What man is this for? The Heartbreaker. It's for the lovers in the air. Um, it used to be called the Love Rocket, if that's what you're thinking of. Uh, but they changed the name to the Heartbreaker. X52... X45. X45 Heartbreaker. For, for lovers in the air. Drops from the Crown Chemical Co. Dungeon. Box thing. Gotta be level 50 plus to be able to get it to drop. Which is why I have 50... Level 50 plus characters, <laughs> and I'm doing 50 runs a day. <clears throat> Super awesome fun times. <laughs> Heartbreaker is more accurate than hard it is to get to drop right. Agreed. Fucking agree. Oh, excuse me. Mm, do you actually have 50 level 50s? Yes. Why, why would I, like, why would I bullshit about that? <laughs> like, it's so easily provable or disprovable. Like... <laughs> They're not all level 50. Um, there's a bunch of them that are like level 51, 52, 53. Uh, I've got four at 60. Uh, but the rest of them are 50, yeah. Welcome on in, Rejuve. I hope you're doing well. Having a lovely day or evening or whatever time. A wonderful time zone. A wonderful, wonderful time zone to you. That's insane. Well, I mean, I do I do have the insane title. Like, it's it's who I is. <laughs> yeah, it took me um so I had 24 of them because I had I had 12. I had 12 characters in Legion that I got to max for the um <laughs> This one. The 12 order hall campaign. So I got 12 of them up for that. Um, then I started leveling a mage on alliance side because I wanted to experience the War of Thorns from the ally side because all of my tunes were horde. Uh, and then at the last kind of couple of days, I realized I wasn't going to get there in time because the event was about like launch day was coming uh, and the pre-patch was going to end. Uh, so I switched tactics and leveled a death uh, demon hunter instead because quick um and so then i had two tunes uh on horde side um then i did ally uh, allied races so there's five on each faction so i ended up with uh 17 on horde 12 plus five and then seven on alliance like the two the mage and the demon hunter plus the five uh so i had 24 24 tunes total that were all and then i they were all kind of like when the level squish happened they were somewhere around like the 45 46 sort of mark i'm like oh fuck it it's easy Got them all to 50. Didn't take very long. Uh, and then 
I was kind of, you know, oh, wouldn't it be awesome if I had like 50 attempts a day because it's the, the character, like the account max. Wouldn't it be cool if I had that for like for Lovers in the Air, for the Heartbreaker? And chat was like, you should do it. I was like, yeah, okay. So, <laughs> so after, after we made partner, um, I, I set myself a task and I said, okay, let's do this. 50 50s. And I want to get it done by February 6th because the event starts on February 8th. Gives me a couple of days leeway in case something fucks up. Uh, and, and that was in, that was the end of June. It was the end of June that I set myself. And that's when I did up the, the spreadsheet that was linked earlier and all that kind of shit. Uh, and I got to it. I created 26 new characters. Um, a mix, like I tried to evenly spread them across races. Uh, I've got 20 Alliance and 30 Horde. That's intentional because the um, uh, instance, 10 instances per hour, that lockout, is server-based, not account-based. So I do 10 on Saofang, 10 on Amanthul, 10 on Saofang, 10 on Amanthul, 10 on Saofang. And I, I don't have to stop. <laughs> I can get them all done and it takes me less than five hours. Thank fuck. Um, and... Uh, yeah, so I started leveling them, uh, and two weeks before the deadline, it was on a Saturday, uh, during a marathon stream, two weeks before the deadline, my final tune hit 50. Took me, what's that, like, all of July, August, September, October, November, December, and most of January, plus a chunk of June, so that's, yeah, seven months. Seven months to get the 26 from scratch, uh, no boosts, leveled them all manually because I'm broke, <laughs> but also because I actually enjoy leveling, because I'm insane. Hey! I didn't get any of the stuff that I needed, but I did get... Fucking brilliant. And now all I need is the, the tokens. I need to do the dailies each day. And I need to do my 50 runs every day. And that's Love is in the Air done. Phenomenal. And look at that timing. Oh, five minutes to burn. <laughs> Discord server, I'm in. We've just started saying, hope you're having a nice or have a nice because time zones, yeah. Oh, I love your energy for the game. That's pretty cool. Have you dabbled into any of the classic era games? Um. Not really, not really. So um, I didn't play during vanilla. I started playing at the start of Burning Crusade. Uh, 15 years now, uh, just over 15 years I've been playing. Um, and so the the whole classic thing held nothing for me. Um, I knew, I know what it was like because I was there. Um, like I, so I, do, I don't have the nostalgia for vanilla because I didn't play vanilla. Uh, and then when BC launched, uh, I did play it. The day it launched, I played. Uh, it was a sponsored stream with Blizzard. They actually sponsored me to, to do a, a day of um, playing Classic, which was... I've had a couple of sponsored streams with Blizz now, and it blows my fucking mind that that's a thing that I can do. Like, I never... Like, 15 years ago, I never would have thought the company making the game that I've fallen head over heels in love with would be paying me to play what <laughs> um they don't like they don't sponsor every stream and when i when i am doing a sponsored stream i'm very fucking clear about it i have a bar across the top of the screen that says this stream is sponsored by blizzard entertainment um because i don't believe in trying to hide that shit firstly it's fucking illegal uh but secondly what's the fucking point uh, i don't understand why people try to hide that bullshit anyway um so I played BC Classic because that's when I started. Like I started right when it launched kind of thing uh, and leveled a, a Blood Elf. So that's what I did on, on BC Classic. But I the, the most of the things that I do, oh look, it's Samnest. Most of the things that I do in the game didn't exist back then. So I love my completionist shit, like all the things. <laughs> uh, I love mount farming. I love like now, I love transmog hunting. I never did before, but I do now. Um, transmog and pets and toys and going back and doing all ra old raids and, and all that kind of shit. So um, none of that existed in classic because everything was still too, like, you, mm, there were, firstly, there wasn't enough, like in, in patch 9.2, they're adding 43 mounts. And I'm pretty sure if I jump onto here, let me just have a look here. <clears throat> so 
in classic, there were 70 mounts. In BC, there were 67. In Wrath, there was 93. They're introducing 43 in one patch of the expansion. Like, it's... Like, yeah, it's just, it's huge. So, um, throughout the entirety of Shadowlands, how many have we had so far? There are 136 new mounts that were introduced in Shadowlands. Um, so, and, and of course, in Classic, um, the, the mounts were expensive. Like, training was cheap, but the mounts were hella expensive and stuff like that. So it's, but there isn't that kind of going and farming stuff and all that kind of thing. So... And all the quality of life improvements that they've made over the years, that's, those are things that I love about the game. Um, so it's not something that I do on a regular basis, no. Uh, but I, however, all that being said, I am ecstatic that it is there as an option for people who want to play it. I'm, like, I've, <laughs> Alenia uh, plays, it does hardcore classic, and I am blown away by her dedication and the, the skill um, also, I mean, the deaths are hilarious, but still, uh, you know, the, the people who do that kind of stuff are just absolutely awesome, and, uh, I admire them, and I love their content, it's super great, it's just not my kind of thing, but, um, yeah, very happy it's there for those who want it. How about you? How about you? What do you love about the game, and do you play classic, and what's the, what's the go? What's the go? Seven months, yeah. Yeah, considering that I, like, stream a lot and I also have a day job that I work and, and don't really have a whole lot of spare time, yeah, it took a while. It took a while. Gats, thank ya. I guess that's what the 50-50 has been all along. Damn, didn't know. Yeah, yep, that's that's it. I mean, obviously there are other reasons to have all those tunes, like all the transmog hunting and stuff I've been doing. It is so much better having four of a class that can run through a raid once a week rather than just one. I'm getting four times as many attempts. That's awesome. Uh, and, you know, don't get me started on a Shah, but it's, uh, yeah, the, the, it was all inspired by the Heartbreaker. Hell yeah, I feel that. Cool. Awesome. Well, I'm really glad. I do play Classic right now. Wonderful. I hope you're really enjoying it. I hope you're kicking ass. Uh, I think the biggest thing for me is I enjoy having a main, I felt like I lost that in retail. Yeah, that's fair. Totally fair. I, I understand that. There is, uh, there are a lot of benefits to having alts in, in retail now, and there's also, uh, like... They encourage it, you know, it, it, like, it's easy to get alts caught up and then to have a bunch of tunes at a, at a certain level of play. Uh, so yeah, I, I get that. I get that. I mean, I still have my main, don't get me wrong. Fiamma is like, absolutely so like, uh, let me have a look here. Um, where was Altaholic? Um, Fia's item level is 245. My next highest is 180. Like, I, d I do not play the other tunes except for, like, running their, uh, like, the adventure tables or going and farming transmogle mounts or whatever. Like, I, yeah, that's, I don't play them. <laughs> I just have them there for bonus chances. I uh, also feel like retail kind of lost direction. Hard for me to dedicate myself to it. Totally reasonable. Look, it's, you've got to enjoy what you're doing. It's a video game. If you're not having fun, what the fuck are you doing? Like, it's supposed to be your leisure time. You absolutely deserve to have something to play that is fun. And if that's not retail wow at the moment, then that's totally okay. Uh, I just thought you were greedy makes it- Oh! I'm wounded! Savage! How could you- wait, how could you be so savage? Good. Uh, <laughs> uh, people right now are complaining that alts are too hard to do. Oh really? Okay. Fair. Fair. Four times as many attempts at not getting the mog piece you need from Molten Core. Correct! Exactly, Genie. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, I tried Classic before retail, I switched because it felt really slow and grindy, which I wasn't a fan of. I prefer the transmogs and mounts in retail. So do I. Um, and But some people prefer the slower pace of the game and, and to not have a million things that they're trying to keep track of at once and stuff. And that's totally okay. That's why both exist. It's a good thing that both exist because they're catering to two very different types of player. And I think that's fantastic. More money in their pocket, right? Like, it's a business. The more people that they appeal to, the more money they're going to make. It's as simple as that. They've got shareholders to report to. Uh, Fade and Spam, Ali, Zemax, Thurling, and Kay. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Good. We're not doing another battle because I'm done. Um, I need to sleep. I need to go to bed. <laughs> and I need to sleep. Because tomorrow is a work day, and then I have my surgeon appointment to, to see if my jaw is healed enough to stick an implant in it. Uh, and then, 
We've got a heartbreaker runs. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh god. Uh, definitely a huge pain to follow through the Covenant campaigns, and I haven't run a single dungeon raid since coming back last January. Oh no! Oh, that sucks, channel. That's all right though. Look, you get there. You get there. Oh, I didn't love is in the air dungeon crazy as f. No rocket yet. I did 50 attempts yesterday. I did 50 attempts today, and I'm doing another 50 tomorrow. We're gonna do a total of 750 runs across this entire event this year. I'm gonna hit 1600 attempts total. I'm sitting on 950 at the moment. Says down here. 9.50. I love that it's a clean number. I'm so happy. Tomorrow we'll be hitting 1,000. Good luck, dear. You too. Best of luck. See, the campaigns are optional and you can just gear up and raid. Ah, uh, someone had the heartbreaker drop my single run earlier. Nice. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, you're a special kind of crazy. I love it. Yes. I'm like restrained batshit. <laughs> or like, or like, or like channeled batshit. Like I'm, I'm... Blah, but I aim it at a specific thing and get it done. Someone was telling, like, I have been told before, like, oh my god, you're so patient. I would never have the patience for this. And my response every time is, oh, honey, I'm not patient. I'm stubborn. I will do this until it's fucking done. Because <laughs> I want it, and I want it yesterday. Uh, I was like, ooh, except toy. Yeah. Yup. Fucking hilarious. Ah, uh, thanks again, everyone. Please take care. Yes, you too, nurse. You too. Queen. Uh, fear will brute force a task. Absolutely. I will do it until it's done and then never do it again. Oh, fuck. You, you, like, once I get this mount, I am never stepping foot in that fucking dungeon again. And I will get it. Maybe not this year, but I'll get it. All right, uh, let's find someone to shower with love. And while... We do that. Here's a photo, or well, photo, here is a graphic that I made. Uh, this is my schedule this, this, um, this month. Um, we are, we are affectionately referring to it as fun-filled February. Alternatively, fucked up February. Uh, I'm doing 18 days consecutive. Today is day four of that 18. Uh, I don't usually stream every goddamn day. At all. Um... Ah, Lost Ark has launched. <laughs> I can tell. Um, <clears throat> oh, Zenra, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Uh, still on the Heartbreaker grind? Yes, still on the Heartbreaker grind. Uh, we did another 50 attempts today and we'll do another 50 tomorrow. Uh, see, I'm so patient. I tell myself I'll do that later. <laughs> uh, for now, sleep. Yes, four more Elder Quests to go. Got some mini cheese. Ah, oh, nice! Play on Australian servers. Yes, I play on Saurfang and Amanthul. They're both OCE, uh, but of course we are the same region as North America. Um, uh, hopefully not an F though. Yeah, hopefully. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, yep, so tomorrow, Heartbreaker runs. Starting later than normal start time and finishing as soon as I've done my last one. We're not going to do Stream Raiders Battles tomorrow because it just it messed up with too much stuff. We're just going to get it done. Uh, Friday birthday. It's my birthday on Friday. We're going to start off with the Heartbreaker Farm. Iron Jesus is going to give me a Heartbreaker for my birthday. And if he doesn't, I'm going to be very upset. Uh, and then we're going to do some Cata Time Walking. See if we can't get some more Time Warp badges for those collectibles. Saturday, more Heartbreaker Farming. Sunday, starting with the Heartbreaker Farm, then moving into ATT clearing, like running for transmog and shit. Um, then Monday, Heartbreaker Farm, and then Mount Farm Monday. Because that's what we do on Mondays. We farm mounts, just not usually a heartbreaker. And then on Tuesday, more heartbreaker farming. And then on Wednesday, more heartbreaker farming. And then after we're done with the heartbreaker farm on Wednesday, I'm going to be trying to collect some pets. I'm probably going to be sitting on close to 2,000 polished pet charms by next Wednesday. Um, so we're going to see what I can spend those on because I need all the uh, all the pets. Let's let's go. Um, for the times, these all start at different times, and I know for a fact that everyone in chat is going to be in different time zones as well, so I would highly recommend that you scroll down a little bit, click Fiyama, click Schedule, and it'll convert it to your time zone, because, ah, oh, beautiful shit, no one has to do math, it just does it for you. Uh, and that way, you can notify yourself however you so desire. You could put it in your calendar if you, if you wanted to. You could set an alarm on your phone, or you could follow me. And turn on notifications. Uh, you could also... Oh, my panels are green. Ah! My panels are green. Someone changed them. 
Shit, didn't I? I was, I was looking at my wall and I'm like, why are the walls green? <laughs> it's because the lights are green. Um, is he connected to America? Yes. Yes. Um, so you can, you can follow on Twitch and turn on notifications. Uh, please follow me on Instagram. 80% of brand deals are on Instagram. I want to go full time. I have to do that by getting brand deals. So please, 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 if you have an Instagram account, please consider checking me out, dropping me a follow. Um, and I also post a story on Instagram every time I go live and you can set notifications for when I post only stories uh, rather than like feed posts and reels and shit like that. You can just get a notification when there's a story that goes up. Um, I also have a Facebook where the stories are pushed through as well. So you can follow on Facebook and I know, I don't know how notifications work there. So, I mean, figure it out. I'm sure we will. We're, we're fine. It'll be fine. Uh, Twitter, follow on Twitter. I tweet when I go live. I also tweet a shitload. So your call. Uh, <laughs> uh, and, and TikTok. I don't post on TikTok when I'm live, but I have a TikTok if you would like to follow that as well. Um, yes, discord.gg forward slash Vyama. Uh, I try to avoid using at everyone as much as possible because the bot ats everyone when I go live. So you can like safely turn on notifications and then you'll get a ping from discord when we go live. So lots of lots and lots, um, you know, some more reliable than others uh, for you to be able to figure out when we're going live and come and say hi, because I fucking need the company because otherwise I'm going to lose my mind. Well, the bits of it I haven't lost already. Aw, that was a follow. Thank you. Good. Bedtime. Uh, <laughs> we're going to bed now. Um, well, I'm going to bed. You guys can stay up and watch Tom. Uh, here's a raid. Wait, actually. Yeah, Tomcat's fine. All right. Uh, so Tomcat, if, if you were here for the rocket farm, if you were here for the, the heartbreaker farm, you would have seen me using, uh, this. Keeping track of all 50 of my tunes. A button that allows us to queue directly so I don't accidentally queue for random heroic dungeons. Yep. Um, and telling us, you know, when the resets and stuff are. Uh, this is Tomcat's tours. Tomcat's Tours is by Tomcat, who's a streamer, and uh, be prepared to have your screen turned upside down, because he does that. Uh, <laughs> here we go. It's it's a joke because I'm from Down Under, I'm Australian, so he flips everything upside down and he turns his text upside down to talk to me and all. It's, yeah, it's, it's fine. It's adorable. Um, he is also a cat. I forgot to mention that. Yes, he's a cat. So that's fun too. Grab your copy paste if you do not have the Fiamma Hype emote, either because you're not subscribed or because you haven't, uh, unlocked it with your channel points, the embers underneath chat, both of which are totally fine. You can still copy and paste the entire message, delete where it says Fiamma Hype and pop in your favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emote and then drop that in Tom's chat when we get there to send him the love. And to say thank you for giving us an awesome add-on to use during these shenanigans. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. And I'm going to see you tomorrow for more runs. All the love.